up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. I'm your boy, King Lamar, a.k.a. Tell your girl to please kindly remove herself from my vehicle. Yo, this is the Jay Willard, the podcast killer, <laughs> a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. The Pop Father. This here is Willow Wednesdays. You about to get that ghetto news from your relationship gurus. <laughs> You see the shirt though, right? You see the shirt. See, we got it back. You see the shirt. I had to bring the shirt back. You feel me? How was your week though, fellas? You don't want to tell them what the shirt said? They know. They been seeing it. For our new people. Ain't nobody new. (laughs) 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 We all family. (laughs) We all family. This nigga just spoke against expansion? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck growth, nigga. Nah. (laughs) No new friends. What the shirt say? Relationship gurus, man. You're going to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Yes, sir. Willow Wednesday merch going crazy. We're going to have a link below. Don't worry about it. Tap in. It's yes, a sir. Big fact. You see Dame over there drinking out the cup. That's what we do. Willow Wednesday uh, dad shirts coming The Willow soon. Wednesday cup. You feel me? Comfy. Uh, I'm saying? For all your fatherly wait, needs. But how was y'all week, though? Talk to me. What is uh, going on? My week was actually pretty dope, man. I, um, I'm almost finished with the album. Okay. Big vibes. Finally got up with your punk ass, and we did some vocals. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah. Felt great. Music on the way. You know what I'm saying? New y'all shit on the way. Y'all um, niggas want me on the track? What Bankroll said, man. New shit on the way, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> y'all want me on the track? Y'all want me on no tracks? I can't yeah. do like a, like, a, like, a, like a prelude or interlude or... S- send in your vocals, and we see what we can... We can, we can Are the Lamar vocals in? Well, Are the right. Lamar vocals in yet? All right, Khaled. <laughs> so... Man, like, yeah, send your vocals. We got you. We, make, my vocals? we put you in the mix, bro. You don't want to like give me a topic or like what the song might be about. I get like a relatable story. Oh, you want to do like what Two Chains did? With what? Yeah, I, I, I know Two Chains' last uh, most recent album, where the um the pop that the pop song is from. Uh huh. Okay. And that album, like literally the beginning of the album, he has like a beginning of every song. It's like. Conversation that they had in the studio, he yeah. just throws bits and pieces. Oh, lit. Songs. That's what's up. And like certain conversations go with the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he, That's a dope idea. Oh, was that, was that when he was talking about um, everybody pregnant? The dog over there in the corner, she pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Sure, you walk in the studio, she L- pregnant. <laughs> literally, literally, it was a dope. I thought it was a dope concept. It seemed really. Tory Lanez did something like that though. Not which, though. Um, oh, 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 um. um, um um, before, tick, tick, bef- no, 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 before every record, it was a skit. Mm. And the skit led into every song. Every song, Chick yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no it's an actual album. album. Uh, like, New Toronto? No. No. Um, I don't know. Tory Lanez has done a lot. A lot. Yes, yes, yes. brother got a lot yes, of music, yes. man. But yo, you're weak, man. My Fuck. Bad, my bad, my I, bad. My bad. I was in Iraq. He's um, sidetracking us. I'm going sidetracking. I found out today do. that um, I won an award. It's oh, pretty shit. cool. Uh, shit, you know Hassani? Sonny Arthur, mm-hmm. um, I um, I produced a, a jazz album with him, and he released uh, released one of the singles, and it won an uh, best um, like a bronze award for like best independent jazz single or something like that. Like, That's dope. Yeah, That's wow. Fire. I ain't That's even realized this shit to like to today. He tagged me on. I'm like, the fuck, we out here winning awards, bro? Like, it's fire. We out here. He like, yeah. Shit. You went on a whole tour with that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> this thing was all in the Caribbean and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, legit, yeah. He went on a yeah. tour. So I think I'll put you back in the group chat so you get the updates, my boy. Hey, man. Hey, he, you That's know what? He, I don't even think he want to do it no more, which is crazy. It's always the talented niggas that just want to just drop off the Hassani face. want to produce now. Kendrick uh, Lamar ass niggas. Yeah, he want to produce instead of just being the jazz artist that something. he is, man. I actually finally listened to Ken- – I'm, I'm sorry. You keep on coming I actually him. finally listened to Kendrick Jesus album Christ. from start to finish today. What do you mean you actually finally – I, I, it took I, a long time to get there. Yeah, it's hard to get into new Fuck music. Fuck my work. Oh, shit. I mean, come on. You have so much. Adulting is tough, bro. You have so much taking your attention. Agreed. Like, how many. You have shows that you watch? Yeah. You have podcasts that you might want to tune into. Yeah. The news, sports. Yeah, your definitely. own personal. You have your passion of music. There's a lot that's taking your time up for the work. day. Work. So, I mean, but. When the nigga says, I've been going through something. 3,876 days. I don't know what number he said, but he's Yo, been going through something. I just know that he said. He you got to tap in with that. He said the word that we can't say on this show more times in one song. And I oh, think yeah. that any rapper probably said 
in a career. That's yeah. honestly one of the realest records I've heard in real. a long fucking time. Yeah, no, that album is super real. Yeah. Very toxic. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's more healing. I'm talking about what? No, sorry, the song. It's oh, I don't think the song was toxic. I think the, the song, song was revealing. Meant, it's not meant to be toxic, but once you, hmm. well, I, anybody knows the name of the song? I don't. I get the name for you. All right, whatever the name of the song is, is where Kendrick is going back and forth with a with his woman on the song. Sure. And he is cursing her out. She's cursing him out, and they're. Having a back and Did forth. Did you hear the... Um, we cry together. We cry Did together. Did you hear the R. Kelly one? Huh? No, the, we don't fucking listen to no, R. No, no, Kelly, with, bro. With the, uh, Ooh, don't say I we. wish you would burn my motherfucking clothes. You, oh, yeah. that shit? <laughs> Was it, is, you think it's worse than that? Or you think... Yeah. No, it's better than that. It's better or worse? Well, like, is, better. It be- is it better because you don't like R. Kelly? No, it's a better... It, it's better because... Okay, so other than the fact that I don't fuck with R. Kelly, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Other than the fact that I don't fuck with R. Kelly, to me it was better because I related more to the Kendrick shit than I did to the R. Kelly shit. I agree. I agree. So to me, it's better. It's yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I related more to that because I've definitely grabbed somebody's keys and was like, "You're not going to fucking work now. Yo, you gonna be late. You are gonna be late. We you all gonna be late." He said, "Today's the, today's the day you are gonna walk to that." I've had I've had a girl. I've been there. I've had a girl joke about. Uh, about smashing my brother in, a, in an argument. See, that's not a joke. I know. That's not a joke. <laughs> that's not a joke. That's why I was, I was very upset. She's that's giving a, lesson plans. That's not a joke. <laughs> like, like, but in the song, she said... No, because low-key, now I'm calling my brother. Like, why is your name even being mentioned? No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Relax. She just saw my brother on Instagram. I don't want to hear that shit. What? You talking? My brother don't live here. I don't care. Okay. Brother, though. That, he yeah, lives that somewhere, me. don't he? Yeah. <laughs> at, some, at some point, we're going to be around each other. Like, Facts. Nah, nah we got to nah. talk about that shit. Nah, nah fuck all that. Nah. Mm-mm. Why nah. did your name come up in conversation? No, 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 no. That's Nah, nah, nah. You wild. You wild. So there's, see, there's a level of loyalty and trust that you just automatically understand. You, th- oh. you think your brother would smash one of your joints? I don't think, but why your name came up? That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> She's being like, why petty. are we talking about That's this? That's all I'm asking. Why are we talking about this? Like, you know, oh, I'm just my saying. Bad. Like, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? All right, you, my, my turn? Yeah, your week. My bad. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, fuck it's oh, just my- side conversations. You see what you made us do? That's I what made- we did to my week. Oh, finish. Oh, no, it's, it's cool. Nigga, how much shit happened in your week, nigga? I can't get to none of it. Bro, I you won awards. You. I can't be happy and celebrate. It's all good. Go ahead. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. We're not used to you having a week. So. Facts. You always come through. Yeah, I worked and I went to sleep and now I'm here. I woke up, I left here, and I went home. And now I'm here. And again. I'm back here. Hey. Okay, what else happened in your that magical was it. week? I, but, I, but it was just like, we talked. All right, go ahead. Bro, we were celebrating the award. It's we, okay. Man, what's, fuck what's, you. What's the name of the award again? I actually don't know. He took all this <laughs> shit and don't know the fucking award. I just, no, no, no. Wait, it's a bronze award, but I don't know. I, I, keep, I, I don't have my phone, award. so I can't think of the, uh, they had a gold, silver, and a bronze. So it's a bronze one. So I, I'm just happy to win some so shit. it's like an Olympic award? I have no idea, fam. It's a jazz award. Hey, he mad because we over here talking about some next shit. And he, he, don't, don't he, even know he don't even know what he won. won. He just, I want some shit. Happy to win shit, nigga. Did you, are you win. getting paid at all? No. Well, I probably not. I mean, you, got, you got paid when you went on tour. Yeah, but <laughs> but more than that, just recognition. Just recognition. Do people get paid when they win awards? No. I, it's not a cash prize. Well, no, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not going to so get paid monetarily. You're not going to get paid monetarily, but no. the doors that open because you are now a Grammy right. winner and the world is sees endless. you. You know what I'm saying? So you get opportunities. From so now it. you're in a Sprite commercial. Yeah. Now you're in the mm-hmm. blah 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 commercial because gotcha. you're a Grammy award winner. I remember when uh, Juicy J and them won a Grammy for uh, Whoop That Trick. Whoop that. I heard they, they, I probably heard that for the next three years every time they were introduced. Grammy Award winning. But they are true. Hell yeah. No, Academy Award. They, they, Academy won. Award winning rap group, which is fire, Got bro. You. Well, yeah, so my week, uh, my week was great. I was celebrated well on Father's Day. Um, uh, it was, it was great. It's about- I was gonna let that fly. <laughs> I was gonna let yeah, it. I was gonna let it go too. I had nothing. You were celebrated well on Father's Day. Okay. No, nah, no. Nah, um, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I actually, I celebrated a lot of. I tried to call you. You. I called you back. Yeah. You sent me the voicemail. I was, I was already, I was doing something. Like I'm a woman. And I was gonna you call just, you like, back. Sent me the voicemail. So what I wanted to do, I was gonna call all my guys and and take a screenshot of all my guys that got kids and mm. make like a collage and mm, post it. Mm, mm. Y'all didn't pick up. I was well, none I, of you. I'll tell you about my week after you finish. I was like, God damn, these niggas do not want to be celebrated. 
But no, so uh, the week was dope. The week was dope. Yeah. Any crazy highlights? Um, nah, man. Something similar to a Dame type of week. Melancholy. Melancholy? Melancholy. It's like, yeah. It wasn't too good. It wasn't too bad. It was just, so, you know, it was a week. That's all right. All right. Some so weeks be like that. This is the first time where we're going we're gonna to hear his week? The first time? Y'all got no fucking choice. But anyway, these niggas are stripping the first time. No, I'm glad I can't mute your mic. <laughs> you oh. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? He just he be could talking. Though. He oh. could though. He could though. Fan of power gone, nigga. <laughs> it's over for you. So you're gonna check nah, the play. You're gonna check listen, the playback. Listen, listen. Over there like this. <laughs> My week was fire. Yeah, man. Right. We start at the top. Uh, Father's Day, of course. Um, Congrats, by the way, man. Happy, happy. I appreciate you. Day. He didn't even call me, you piece of shit. That's crazy, bro. I can't even get a happy Father's Day, bro. I don't even like you, bro. I mean, I respect it, but thank you for calling me. I, I mean, I was, like at a, I was at the gun range. That's why I missed it. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, I saw we, that on Instagram. Yeah, we, we was letting some shit off. Feel me? Your like, form is horrible. It is what it is. Oh, Niggas still got shot. Your form is <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it doesn't no, matter. Your form, like, <laughs> your form look like you see on Instagram where they like, where your buddy on the treadmill, and he pull a weight out his pants. <laughs> That's what I saw you Okay, doing. let's stop it. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you did not. That was a weird. You're not going to violate me like that. Bro, weird transition. Bro, there was another, there was another buddy. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. See? You keep talk- see? You be over-talking See? and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not over-talking. My mind just works. My like- mind is telling me. <laughs> <laughs> my mind is just. Nah, but, but and, not, and now listen, you make an argument. Nah, fuck all Kelly. But nah, um, yeah, Father's Day was dope. Yeah. Um, had a nice brunch. Yeah. Um, amen, amen. Lady, lady friend took me out. Wifey took me out. I mean, it was nice. It was, we went to a shooting range, went out to eat. Yeah. Some of the homies pulled up. It was it was calm. It was, it was a nice event. Um, I wasn't invited. Where were you? You was being celebrated too. You said, "Nigga, fuck, nah, I'm, nah. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna intervene with your celebration." Hey, well, shit. But what? nah, yeah. So so that that was that. Um, some fucking phenomenal music dropped. So I'm happy about that. I was gonna ask y'all about I, I've that. I've been listening. To, this week has been good for me. I've been happy. Yeah, good yeah. mental space. Yeah. Rested. Juneteenth came. That was dope. Juneteenth and Father's Day on the same day is fire. Juneteenth Yo, but, rolled over to uh, the 20th, too. But also, Monday, Monday was lit for that. And it's also Black Pride. Black um, Pride? I'm not Black Pride. I'm oh, Gay man. Pride. So, I mean, shit. Gay, the funniest joke I heard over the weekend was Gay Black Daddy. What the fuck was it? Gay Black Daddy Day. Mm. That's what that was. Okay. Gay Black Daddy Day. And okay. People was like, yo, it's perfect. And if you went in, and the nigga was like, oh, Atlanta. <laughs> Damn. Like, oh, shit. We in the Mecca. <laughs> like, gay, <laughs> gay Black Daddy Day. Nah, but listen, festivities for the whole weekend was dope. Every, listen, niggas was outside. Yeah. All right? It was, there was a lot of shit going on. It was cool. If you, if you inside the house, you done missed it. Get your ass out. Summertime is in full swing. Mm-hmm. Summertime is in full. Listen, you might not, you might see these legs all summer. <laughs> okay. Honestly, Yo, this is such but, a breathable space. But in the same breath of Father's Day, I wanted to talk about some shit that I've been noticing, but I wanted to talk about it. Let's see where we at with it. All right. Why do women hate Father's Day so much? Because women hate men. <laughs> Taking <laughs> it there. <laughs> Drop the mic. Yeah, like, that's pretty what much mean? the answer. What do you mean? It's a Bro. triggering. It's a triggering. <clears throat> Bro, I can go on until God come back. No, no, no. Okay, so, so I, asked, I, I asked a stupid question because we know the reasons why women would hate Father's Day, right? Nah, maybe some people don't. Some women are watching this right now, and they're like, no, we don't. I mean, we can't say, oh, it's more times than not. All right. Why so can, do women... Can, can we actually educate them and just let them know why we think they probably hate Father's Day? All right, go. Hit one, I hit one. I, okay, so I feel like a, a woman would hate Father's Day because they were wronged by a man. Uh, hit one. Uh, women would hate Father's Day because you don't like celebrating men. Ah. Uh, men should, like, or, um, I know, like, I just really want to expound on that. You don't like celebrating men. We're going to leave right there. Um, yeah. Where you may feel as if a man's contribution to the life of the child or to children in general um, doesn't really matter. You feel me? It's just uh, you play your role. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? It's not really, damn. Men aren't really celebrated like that, though. Like, that's, that's why I want to talk about Father's Day because legit, a, uh, I didn't, bro. I ain't see no commercials for the shopping. Facts. I didn't see the, Where the Father's big Day specials, what, what, the big deals. Yo, you saw what I posted? What fifty? Uh, what fifty said? Mm-mm. What fifty said? Uh, fifty said Father's Day is a scam. 
said, Father is king. Look, look what they do. Look what they do. Look what they do for Mother's Day. Right? You know, they said, look what they do for Father's Day. You see the only commercials. You see a motherfucking hammer. You see all type of tools. <laughs> brand new screwdriver. Power tools. Right? They want the nigga to do something. Build something. Right? They want him to go put him to work. Look for, for Mother's Day. You see flowers, cards, candy, it's gifts. Like sentimental shit. Right? Yeah. Loving type shit. And I really, I feel like I was talking to some people. I'm like, yeah, I spoke to two women that day. I said, hey, what, he's like, what you doing? Like, I'm Father's Day shopping. I'm like, please don't tell me you're going to get that man no cologne and a tie. Yeah. He's like, oh, man, I just got the cologne for him. I was like, oh. Cologne, bro, tie, we're, fucking we're robes, the, house shoes and shit. Bro, I've, I've received a Frisbee, and I'm not downplaying it. I love my Frisbee. You received a Frisbee? I, I like Frisbees, though. Yeah, my son got me a Frisbee on Father's Day. It said number one dad. This shit is amazing. But I, mean, I but I, like fuck that, we gotta play frisbee though. That's your, frisbee that's your is kid. funny. Okay, we're not talking about no, whatever the, no, but, the kids under twenty one do. That's we no, appreciate but, that. But I'm, I'm talking about the box that fathers get put in at, for yeah. gifts. Cause that macaroni get, necklace is fire. We get a tool set. <laughs> you may get a tie. Would your son be mad? A, if you a macaroni with necklace. With yeah, a robe. So Would Sometimes your son they get be you a robe. If you play frisbee with other people without him. Other <laughs> kids? Yo, that's me. I'd be fucked up. I'd be fucked up. He ain't, so that that's like cheating I'm on a, your I'm son. About to, I'm about to take it there. Facts. I'm about to say, you tell you cheat there. on your own son. Society has <laughs> made it to where if I get you a gift on Father's Day, you have to experience that gift with me. That means it wasn't even really for you; it's for, for us. Agreed. But that's a lot of gifts. How much have Agreed. you bought a woman that you were there to experience with, with her? Like, if I get somebody, if I get someone something, this is for you. Now, if you if you don't, ah, right, boom. Let's say if I get someone tickets to go to a game, yeah. you don't got to take me. Those are your tickets. Yeah, but if you bought your chick a vibrator and she used it with the next nigga, you're going to feel away. I would never buy a girl a vibrator. Nah, but Shit. it's the same thing, bro. If you Tripping. bought her some tickets and she I, took I, her I, other I, homeboy. Mm, you're going to feel away. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That depends. That depends. I, I got say, us tickets. If Thank I say, you. I got she swipe us, them in. I got us tickets. Yeah, yeah. Means I got us a ticket. Here's your ticket. Here's my ticket. That's different. But if I say, hey, here you are. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, chal- a, I'm a challenge you. If, if it's you, my girl, she if, would give a person two tickets. I though? challenge you on that because if you went out and purchased two tickets two for, tickets. how about this, little baby and Chris wanna, Brown? Chris Brown, go? Chris Brown and little baby pulling up. They are gonna be in Atlanta real soon. That yeah. concert gonna be stupid. Yeah, you, nigga, it's gonna be stupid. Nah, it's gonna be wild. You be went out there, the you real. got two tickets for your shorty. Yo, I can't make it. His two have fun. Yeah. Shit, I bet. Me and Tyrone going to the concert. Thank you for the tickets. You're going to feel away. So, so the only reason why I would feel Especially like, if you follow Tyrone on IG. <laughs> <laughs> and he posted, oh, I'm going to a concert with a baddie tonight. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and I ain't got to pay shit, nigga. But, but, Whoever this but, simp is that right, gave up free we, tickets. We, <laughs> all right, we know that we're getting into a realm where it's like, all right, boom. If your girl is going to, if your girl, even if you didn't get the tickets, if your girl would have got those tickets anyway and went with a nigga off rip, Bro, she doesn't, that's not respect in, in the first place. Regardless if I got her the tickets, like. Focus on yourself, King. <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? You stupid for giving her two tickets anyway. How? I mean, mm, How am I, if, I, if my girl loves Ariana Grande, I know her, all her friends love Ariana Grande, and I give her two tickets to go see Ariana Grande, she knows if you take a nigga who is not of the pride spectrum, not a good way to throw that in there. Go ahead. What you mean he ain't got going. no pride? Keep going. Nah, they got. Pride. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got a whole lot of pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> set that one up. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, you hold that one yes, in. Yes, go yeah. ahead. I set that one up. A lot up. of pride. They gonna cancel me, nigga. Not I today. I set that one up. They ain't canceled. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Yo, you snapping? Oh. Um, go ahead. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Back to my Father's Day, because we, we had another t- another tangent, right? So, I'm talking about Father's Day, right? He's and, stuck, he got himself stuck. Yeah, this thing is he's wilding. He's but like, no. Y'all niggas is wilding, bro. But I'm just looking at social media, and I'm just looking at people's demeanor. Yeah. And Father's Day don't get the love and adoration that a Mother's Day would get. It never will. And, and I, Cool. It never will, right? But... The same way that there's ain't shit fathers, there's ain't shit mothers. 
But one thing I never see on Mother Day is, y'all fuck out of here. Fuck mom. <laughs> fuck her. That's, nah, there's, fuck all there's, that. There's no jokes about mothers being bad. I saw a joke about Father's Day where it was like, I'm about to call my father and tell him to get ready and have him waiting the same way he had me waiting. Now, cool, we understand that the stereotype. I get the joke, yeah, yeah. It's funny, yeah. but. The disrespect be, on Father's Day is at an all-time high. Exactly. I, if we're going to be disrespectful, I need it all across the board. That's it. Fact. If we're going to be funny, all across the board. Because I support the dark, the dark humor, but yeah. when the dark Keep humor it consistent. only push towards one side, this is not necessarily just humor anymore. This is an agenda. Yeah, I've, I've, I've never seen a man say, oh, y'all better show me love on Mother's Day because I'm taking care of my kids more than a mom is. Cause even, but cause but, but that shit happens. All the time. There's, there's full-time dads that got custody of their kids. The, the moms ain't shit for real. But you never see that public humiliation mm-hmm. of a woman. For two reasons. Number one, if if they did it to... If they did it to... to if they did it for themselves to ex- exalt themselves, they'll be shot down. You feel me? Because of mm. who they're doing it towards is women. And number two is going to be seen as... You're trying to be like a woman so bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's... Um, Double standards are a way of life. We know that. I think women claim motherhood as the one thing you can't... Uh, the same way how black people claim nigga, women claim motherhood. Like, you can disrespect me, you can call me this, you can beat me up, you can rape me, stab me, kill me, whatever. But you'll never say I'm a bad mother. You know, it's that, that kind of thing that you mm-hmm. hear. Like, you know, they say that in like movies and stuff. Like, that's the strong part of the movie. And we'd be like, you better say that, girlfriend. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They claim motherhood to the point where you kind of can't. But you know what gave me tight? A man would say, oh, I do this, 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 this. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. That's what you're supposed to do, right? right? And that's why Father's Day gets pushed down. Because uh, how dare you feel good about yourself taking care of your kids? You supposed to, but that's how it is. But in on every mother, aspect. but on Mother's Day, aren't you supposed to take care of your kids? But, you supposed to mother and nurture and be I, there for your kids. But, I, I but shoot, we still exalt them. I shoot women some bail on this only because men do have an option to leave. Now, obviously, huh? women do. Women men have, have an option. option to leave, bro. Everyone does. I know, but more times than not, <laughs> yo shit. Okay. The, the mother's not going to leave her child. More times than not. Okay. You do have that one mama that's like, throw this little baby in the garbage. Fuck it, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? It's true. But Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. God damn it, Brenda. Damn it. <laughs> damn shame. The girl could barely spell her name. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, no, no. But in real life, 90% of women, they're going to stay with their child. It's their child. You know okay. what I'm saying? Word, whereas men can just get frustrated and just fuck it. No, I, I, I get and now we got social media. You remember back in the day, you no. could just move a couple blocks away no, I, <laughs> and never I, see your dad. I, 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 get, <laughs> like, I get that point, but I, I'm still speaking to the, 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 the word play. Yeah. The word play is, oh, you're supposed to do that, so why are you getting excited? But on Mother's Day, I've never heard that rhetoric. I've you never wanna, heard you, that. You want to understand something? Towards a woman. Like, you, you hype for what? You're supposed to. You push them out. Duh. If you, You're supposed to take care of your kids. If, but, it, the same way how you say, like, a lot of men have easily in the past left their homes, whether whether we want to bring the For whatever reason. Into yeah. it mm-hmm. and yeah. say that, you Niggas know, just it, be was like, kinda, it was kind of forced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah and, and then it was a part of culture. And then it became yeah. the thing to do where it became easier for yeah. them uh, subconsciously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you're a single mom. You can get an apartment in public aid because yeah, you don't exactly. have a man. So, yeah. so uh, damn, I lost my point. Go ahead. My bad. Oh, you was flowing though. He was. Mm. No, um, damn. <laughs> so Drake's album. No, nah, joking. Fuck I'm that. Just, <laughs> just, nah. All right. So, <laughs> no, no. But to 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 go off your point, I guess all I'm trying to say, Jay, is um, because. Men have the stigma oh, got it. of leaving. He's back. He's back, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Okay, you going You sure? So, so <laughs> go ahead. Understand. <laughs> you again. So my point is, if you, when it comes to uh, the father or the mother staying into the child's life, right? Yeah. We already know that, as you said, over ninety percent of women are not gonna desire to leave. You know what I'm saying? That emotional 
connection has been so strong sure. for damn near a year. Sure. Um, and for men, it's been pushed, whether it's uh, forced, if you want to throw the 80s in there, forced and then became a part of culture. Mm-hmm. And now it's, you know, what they did in the 90s, just leaving the child. Right. Um, it's easier to do that. Yeah. So when it becomes a norm of women stay, men leave, when men now, which is what I've noticed in the past five to eight years, five years, definitely mm-hmm. five years, there's a lot more, um, whether the home is not together as mommy and daddy are together. Right. Fathers are in their lot, in the lives of their yes. children. Oh, I'll push that to more than five. Fathers are, uh, but we can go further, but I'm talking yeah. about, for my From what you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, I'm, I'm 27 now, so yeah. my, for me, my, my friends have been having kids for the past seven years, six mm. years, right? A lot of my friends have kids, and a lot of my friends are well involved in their kids' lives. So now if you see something that in the past 30 years, 40 years, hasn't been the norm, that should be celebrated even more. I mean, I say celebrate even more, but that should be celebrated just should be as highlighted. Much because this is technically not the norm of the culture. Uh, um, I'm so mad I don't remember. Agreed. But uh, we had talked about it a, a few years ago. Um, Back at uh at the at the oh man, um, Josh was there. Mm. There's a, sti- a st- I'm gonna breathe. Oh, there is a statistic. Yeah, I know, what, <laughs> I I know, know right? The 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 there is a statistic that shows that black men are in their child's lives more, more. now than yeah. other cultures. Yeah. Like it used to be we were the most separated. Mm-hmm. And it's not true anymore. I'll tell you why. You go through enough trauma and right. enough traumatic shit. Right. The next generation will be like, uh-uh. Right. We're not repeating that. And they was like, all of the statistics about what well, we saying, daddy wasn't there and all mm-hmm. of that. Like, it's not true. Like, it's not, it they're in not the kids' true. lives. It's a, it's I, I get it now. They may bad. not be married. Yeah, yeah, that's, or they that's might, another yeah, problem for another that's year. A, yeah, that's a whole different topic. To, but they're in the kids' lives. Like, it's still a two-parent mm-hmm. household. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I'm about, I'm about to take it somewhere. Two-parent upbringing. upbringing. I'm about to take it somewhere. Is you, uh, and, but cut it off when it's time. So you know how cut. we- Cut! I'm just joking. You know how we- <laughs> <laughs> Too far, nigga. I, I knew Too? that was coming. Come on, I knew that was coming. You, you, know, you know how we, uh, <laughs> you know how we, you just now said like, okay, boom, they're in the parent, they're in the life. Yeah. And um, that fathers are taking care of their kids way more than in the past yes. 30 years. Like but they're m- not with the mom. Right. Is this, so, are those fathers, are they good fathers, as you would say? Yeah. Um, the definition, I, the, the, the key or, word or is father. They, father, they, yeah. Are um, they good men? Yeah, nothing. You know to, yes, I, yes, and that shit fucking frustrated my life. So, if anyone remembers. It did to me, too, and then you saw I was like, because it's this completely different shit. If anyone remembers the B. Simone clip, where B. Simone and another not as famous young lady. Uh, we're going back and forth about um, Martin, Luther, Martin King. Luther King, whether he was a good man or not. And the point that they were making was that regardless of what he did in history, the kind of person that he was to his kids, the kind of person that he was to the, the world. nation, yeah. you feel me? The culture, black people, the right. race, because they're saying that the, the rumor um, of, or the fact, whatever it is, of him cheating on Coretta, that he's no longer a good man because he's not a good man because he's good to everybody, but except for the woman. And I think that also goes where it's like when men do things what can be considered wrong, it's frowned upon, it's looked down upon. When a woman does things that's wrong, let's say cheating on both sides, right, it's justified. There's a re- there's always a reason why she cheated. And she was times, unhappy and she told you many and you times didn't change. It is contributed to the man's fault where this man could have done something differently. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, that opens up a whole kind of, you know, because that's, that's believing that their marriage is end-all, be-all. That's believing that one person monogamy is end-all, be-all. That's why she can't find out, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if, if that's how you feel, I, I can't fault a person for feeling that. Um but I also can't fault a person for not feeling that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like I, I, I can't fault either or. But I don't, I don't like it. I think it's stupid, and you can't base a person because, because we don't know what was going on. To like, speak to speak to that clip, like they okay, wild disrespectful. I don't like that on the legacy of 
an all-time great. Now, granted, was he cheating on his wife? I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't even a thought. Dang. I don't fucking know. Dane was there. Was he? Nigga, you was the there. best man at the wedding. Like, you was there. there. Nigga, Who like, held the camera? Nigga, you was the ring boy. I just don't like the, the narrative. The ring boy. Um, you being the ring boy? Well, My definitely God. not that, nigga, because I'll be <laughs> 115. Nigga, the fuck? Come through. Uh, <laughs> on the low nah, but like, so, like, the, the, like what, the, if, what if Coretta was cheating? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I, I don't like the narrative that they spend with it. Like, J. what if. J. Cole spoke about that in the song before. No, but like, what if legitimately she was the problem the whole time? Right? He's like, let's. A, he's not a good man. Do you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, just, just imagine out. he out here trying to save the fucking world and he come home, he like, baby, Coretta, what the fuck? She like, well, you out here marching and shit. You know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, but that's, that's, that's you know where, what I'm saying? Like, I don't that's know. That's where men. I, I don't know because so, it's, it's a ridiculous, but it's no. like, nigga, what if they, he like, baby, like, I'm trying so to say, she are, like, you, you out here marching and shit. You out here marching and walking and shit. marching for me. Do you want me to rub your feet, nigga? Stop walking so much. You understand that that's a real dynamic? Like, <laughs> Where we don't know men are are the in, in history men have been the uh, breadwinners of a household and their wife is at the crib messing with the pool boy right this right. is the milkman the milkman like the postman this is like something that has been embedded in culture and been made cool but to we, do but you know that's on purpose with black folks all right like y'all know that like for satire. No, they, nah, my brother, speak. No, nah, it's on purpose that they give us the the, the terrible stereotypes of, man, yo, I, I don't want to get too deep. But that's why shows like The Cosby Show was important, just to show us the dynamic, because we have been taught, we have been taught that the dynamic of the black relationship is broken. More than it is actually broken. We just, we're taught, oh, you're going to have a fucked up relationship. You gonna have a fuck. You know what I'm saying? We're taught that. They taught your us that. Your daddy's not kid. gonna be there. That's it. Your, da- your mama gonna be on drugs. That's it. You gonna sell crack, get shot, go to jail. Like that's it for you. You either could play basketball or rap. Like it's over for you. Like that's you are damned. You know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. And like, and it's it's absolutely not true. And what happens is people buy into the stereotypes. People buy into the stereotypes, man. And like, and it it it, it boggles me because. Boggles. <laughs> I haven't said that word. Boggle. <laughs> I haven't been boggled in years. Nah, but seriously. Pause. <laughs> Wait, how is that a pause? I don't know. I I feel, I'm, I'm on your side. Somewhere <laughs> it's a pause. Somewhere. It's a pause. It's a pause somewhere. Boggle means confused. I guess uh, pause. You yeah. trying to get boggled up? <laughs> it's a pause for me. Don't be boggling me, nigga. It's a, it's a pause Yo for me. Yo boggling ass. Do you nah. boggle with two hands? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you've boggled? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't boggle. I get boggled. I don't know. I don't know. You feel me? You get confused. The word means confused. Like, Shorty you boggling. Bro, right. get, go back to your point. You be making good points. And She's a boggler. She's a confuser? But I hate, hate that. We, I just hate that we buy into the stereotypes. Yeah, and then it becomes our life. And then we infuse. Um, damn, shout out to Lifted. We infuse that stereotype into what we think. I think if uh, B. Simone legit was just to sit back and think about what she's saying, she's saying that that whole man is a whole terrible, based on one ideology, you know. Pretty much he's a piece of shit because he was not faithful to his black woman. Yo, so but, he yo. can't be the savior of the black race if he's disrespecting a black woman. That's but, what oh, my saying. God. But disrespect. Disrespecting the black woman. How? Man. You know what? You know what? I, what We're I madder know. than Coretta. You know, you want to facts. You want to. We ain't never heard Coretta say shit. Who, who did? Did we say this or did I see this somewhere? Where, bro, no, I think I said it. Well, bro, Coretta know. ain't never said it. I'm just, about to, I'm about to take this as I said it. That just if, hit me, bro. Coretta if, ain't never said yo. This thing ain't you shit. You think what if Coretta would have said? What if we came with Coretta with a choice? We like yo, Coretta. Choice A or choice B. Your man never is unfaithful in any way, shape, or form. But he doesn't go on to be the person that changes or or help drive uh, the civil rights era, or or you already know what happens. Choice right. B. I firmly think Coretta would choose choice A. Choice B. In my story, Coretta like well, I've been fucking Malcolm the whole time, so <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. I mean, like. I don't know. I mean, uh, that's the way I see it. Like, what are you talking about? It, to to <laughs> me, it's just sticky. In my story, it, it's just sticky, and it's 
it's high key disrespectful to even kind of talk about this shit because. No, it's that's, not. That one is so long ago, and bro, it's, this is grown folk business. This is extra grown folk business. And to be honest with you, back in the day, everybody was doing them. There was no form of communication. When homie left the crib, he, just he left. was gone <laughs> for hours. Can you imagine Hope that? He was but, but Shorty was also at home right. for hours. hours. Right. Like, I hate the narrative that we always push it. It's just, I feel like it could have went both ways. But to even to like dig that cheat. up. And that's another thing. Like women don't cheat. Women been cheating since the beginning of the fucking time. Yo, how many? You want to know why? Oh, my God. Listen, yo. It's, it's so many narratives. You could spin this shit now, now that we know how things work. What if Coretta was bisexual? Facts. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm just. What if? What if? What if they were okay? What if Coretta, Coretta was, was fine? Was a was a was a. What polygamist? if they had a polygamous yeah. a polygamous but, relationship? But, but due to optics, because right now they imagine, have to hold it down. Imagine if you heard that yeah. Barack and Michelle were polygamous while they were in the White House. Oh uh, man, there'll be no respect for the relationship, so they have to keep a particular image. But if you see that he might be out with the whatever, now that's here's it. the. So that's why I say. It's we dynamics to it, <laughs> you know, and that's why I don't like how you can condemn a person, like I said, based off your, ide- your single I- ideology. It's shit is stupid. All this stemmed off of, once again, my thoughts on Father's Day, because I feel like niggas really do get a bad rap. We do. And we've been getting a bad rap because of some shit that happened in the past, but as you alluded to, this new generation, I feel like we doing the goddamn thing. We are. And we, we are more present in our lives, in the, in the lives of our kids. At every our level. black graduation rates are now higher. Yep. Black, everything is higher. And I feel like the black family <laughs> dynamic is also higher. But we don't and we exalt lo- that. And we love children. No, but we... But it's we, so we, cool. We, like we, we play it down and we say shit like, oh, well, well you're supposed to. And, oh, why are we right. giving you a day when you're supposed to? But you it's like, what's that same energy on you Mother's Day? You want to know what's crazy? Me and my uh, no, nah, I'm going guy, hard next Mother's Day. Fuck it, my guy. Because you're supposed to be doing. Fuck it, no, nah, I'm on that. Going through, um, his girl was keeping a kid from him for about a week, right? Mm. Where um, they're going through something at the crib, and he doesn't stay at the crib as much, right. but it's his house, so he pays bills there, mm. right? Um, but he might stay somewhere else in the city with another shorty or one of his other cribs, you know, mom's house, father, whatever. But they got into it, and the girl left the crib for the week and stayed at her friend's, at her mom, and wouldn't allow him, and took the kid with him, and wouldn't allow him to see the kid. For a week? For a week. And he's asking, like, he might see the kid every day. But that, that's, he's that's like, the game. He's asking, okay, well, who's going to watch, who's watching the kid today? Right. Who's watching the kid tomorrow? Like, we're, it's my daughter. It's communicated by him. That's that's the shit that I fuck with mental health. That's where that we don't speak about that. That's where we're like, yo, bro. A lot of a lot of us, the older we get, we start to as especially as a man, the older I get and I start to deal with women or even deal with my mother, and I understand that if I if she's this way with me, right. and she's mature, grown, and she's been through so much. I can only imagine how she was thirty years ago, right, and mature with my father. Yo, how, how about this? God is, God is my witness. I've had conversations with my pops. Yeah? I've literally said, I can see why you left. Oh, wow. I've had that conversation with my dad. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Pops, what up? Like, yeah. I, 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 bro, at me and my big age, understanding just the dynamics of a relationship and understanding my mom, understanding me and my woman Plus and how... the level of communication that was back then. Just, just how things... I have had conversations with my pops like, yo, yeah. I'm not mad at you. I can understand why. Do I, do, I, do I agree with it? No. I always would want you to, yeah. to take your kids and be in your kid's life. Yeah. That's, that's that. But as a man now, growing and right. going through life and having arguments with your significant other How and conversation and the words that are said and the emotions that are behind mm-hmm. it and the actions yeah. that happen, the I can understand why someone would say, you know what? I'm just going to remove myself from the situation before shit gets to a point where there's no return. I right. can see why a nigga would just be like, you know what? Uh, I'm out. I can see how you get. So now, but that. I can see that. So what, I, what, I, what I've what i said was, I see how you get there, how you would want to remove yourself. 
Yeah. But then when I when I went back on, and this is why I never really um I guess I've I didn't get a chance to forgive my my father died three years ago. Not a sad situation. Mm. He wasn't really around, so I didn't really care for real. I get it. But I I was sad because I didn't get to have when like a month before he died was when we were gonna have that real sit down, yeah, yeah, that grown man shit between uh, my brother was gonna broker the deal. If that makes sense because he had a relationship with him. He's eleven years ahead of me than mm. I did. Um, whatever it was, right? I know it don't make no sense. Mm. So, but then he passed away. I don't feel a type of way. But then I'm like, I understand why you would leave, but I don't see myself staying away. I don't see myself not forcing myself into my kid's life. I don't know how I could... That's real. I don't know how I can allow my kid to grow up with that. Or I don't know how I can allow the world to shape my, shape my child without my influence being a part of that. But I, I, I think. But I think you said it earlier. I think we, we've changed as a people. Like, mm. back then... As a fact, men smart. was hard. We didn't have. We weren't emotional. We weren't open about our emotions. Men can't say you. I love you, son. Hard as shit for 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 an older man to say. Legit, just yo, I love you. Shit, I tell my son every but, conversation. But but that's what I'm saying. We've changed now. Like bad. we've changed as men. Shit, daddies be like, I mean, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> my, my son and, get kisses on the forehead. No, no, no but I'm just saying that, that's how daddies be moving. You know what I'm saying? You see him and it's like, hey, dad. He like, hey, you be like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you know what I'm know saying? What's <laughs> <laughs> you know crazy? You already know, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what? You know what's crazy? <laughs> Let me give you a background. So my mother is a. She had me at 34. She got to America at 33, right? Or 35. She is a country, country Jamaican woman. Been through a hell of trauma. Me, if I hug, if I go and hug my mom now, she'll like, yeah. she'll she'll smile and be happy, but she'll like, come on for me, ah, ah. yeah. But it's like, I know me hugging her is making her smile, but it's difficult for my mom to embrace me back. That's what I'm saying. Like she can't. That's what I'm saying. My but mother that's... has never, to this day, initiated. That's the old a hug. <laughs> no, but ever. that's that's the old school way. Like ever. Like. When you talk about choices, back in the day, when when you felt the way, there was no therapy, there was no podcast, there was no Will of Wednesday. It, it wasn't no Will of Wednesday. It was social media. It was just, just yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't just... get likes from your friends. You just either have to deal with that pain for yourself, drink yourself, do drugs. You know what I'm saying? The same shit, or and wallow in your sadness, or be miserable, or go to your be miserable, house. or just leave to your side trick house. Period. Just wherever. Just go. To your side, your cousin. You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine, like you say, maybe that is what it is, but then you leave, I too. You know what I'm saying? Because you could just be like, I'm frustrated. I'm out. <laughs> like, but then that's how we begin to deal with our traumas is because we know that, okay, boom, we can't deal with our traumas in your presence because then with our traumas in your presence is going to be looked at as, as weakness. So the only way to deal with our traumas is by ourselves and the only way we can deal with it by ourselves is to numb it. And then you go into falling in love right. with this little guy right here. With whatever it is. But it could be everything. It could be sex. It could be masturbation. It could be gym. Something. It could be church. Fact. You know motherfuckers go to church as an addiction. It's like, yo, you, you don't need to be in church nine days a week, man. Like, ain't that much God nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, even God took a, a day to rest. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck is you a seven day Adventist, you, you, my nigga? Find, like even God was like, "Yo, I'm gonna chill on Sunday." You, you will <laughs> like, find, you will find bro, anything stop. to cope with. Like, what are we doing? Fact. You know what I'm saying? You definitely so, will find anything to cope with. So that's what I'm saying. So niggas hit the gym too hard. Them big swole ass niggas, you see them all the time. It's like yo, you dealing with childhood trauma, fam. Like you probably just needed to hug your father, bro. Yeah, I want to move the conversation a little bit. <laughs> you hugging his bench. <laughs> You said what? The bench. I said oh, bench. I said gym. Relax. I was about to say, get the shot glass. <laughs> Cannons to the right. <laughs> relax, relax. Hey, bro, I got so excited. Yo, nigga, I was about to throw my phone. <laughs> ah, we got one. It was, it was so, like, strong. <laughs> but Yo. I understand from now on, bench. And that's what I will run to. Oh, word. Right. man. You'll call the women benches. <laughs> Listen. Stupid ass. Yeah. Binyaches. Stupid. <laughs> you had to find. 
Yo. <laughs> Ways around it. We got a lot of shit to talk about. All right, let's hit it, bro. Honestly, that was just the intro. Father's Day just happened, so we had to talk about it real quick. So that was my week. Exactly. <laughs> like, that was the week. Shit. Yo. And we're here. We got some shit to talk about, man. Drake's got- album. You said what? Drake's album. Oh, you want to start with music? <laughs> no, I just want to. Fire on those bars real quick. Nah, Come go on. ahead. I mean, Is that one of the list? I don't even know. So. Okay, I was just curious. No, no, I just want to talk shit. I, I, I want to start with DJ Academics. Okay, what happened? Give it to me. I don't oh, know. You didn't hear. No, once again. Okay, so uh, 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 old I told clip. you I like this. I like just showing up and talking about shit. Yeah, come, Let's on go. Uh, oh, uh, come on now. Oh, snickers. Come on now. An old clip resurfaced. Academics okay. was um <laughs> was was having a conversation. Whoa. And in that conversation, he pretty much was saying that there's no difference between twenty one and seventeen you or don't twenty see and seventeen. Wrong. He's like with him, he doesn't look at age as long as Shorty's in college. He's fucking. That's pretty much the conversation. I have the clip here, though. I would like for everyone to hear it. Oh, shit. Play that thing, my boy. So we can talk about it. Um. And to keep it real, if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things, there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as a chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care if she's 17. I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. She's going to get this dick. Okay. Okay. For the sake of it, it is funny. So, I, I that think clip. I, I so, so, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait before, before we dive in. Jesus Christ. Post, that Not clip, the youngest one. That clip resurfaced, and it's made its rounds. And in today's culture, today's society, oh today's God. social media. Oh, when they go back and catch the shit that we said d- back in the nigga, day, Nigga, they're going to kill us. <laughs> oh, my us. But, God. But, but, but let me go. Let oh, me go. I'm, so, I'm ready for it. Oh. In context, and context matters. Jesus. The conversation was between Tiger and. Oh, talking about and, him dating the young. And was it Kylie? Is it Kylie? Think, at the time, she uh, was young. Tiger and Kylie was yeah, it? Kylie. Cool. At the time, so she was Tiger 17. was like 24. Yeah, she was 17 yeah, and 18, some shit like yeah, that. And that was where the comments came from. So academics is like, listen, I hear what y'all are saying. Pretty much what he was saying was, when I'm 60 and you're 56, we're not having this conversation. Right. But because I'm 20 or 21 and you're 17, now we're having this conversation. What he said was, long story short. I don't care. If you have a college ID, I'm fucking. At the time, he was in college. He was 24, 25. So, uh, so for him, he's like, for me, my age range is college. In uh, context, that makes sense. We take this clip now. In, in we, college? We, we take this clip now. Bro, if you're and, 22 and she's 17, mm-hmm. and, y'all in, and she's a freshman and you a senior. I, I would too, it's my turn. Hmm? So, I, I was just there. So, but so, that's what I'm saying. I, but I remember. And here we are. College, yeah, no, but I, re- I remember that. Bro, bro so. so it, it, freshman, senior. So even now, me and my guys at work, right? And that's just the young freshman. Me and my guys you know, at like, work. Because you're not like, real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. When you graduate, you typically 18. But you do have those 17, people. 18. Those yeah. birthdays. For November yeah. birthday, my birthday. Yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. November 14th. So you were 17 in college? Yes. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Same. To, okay, so you were too. Yeah, I was eight, I was eighteen. But I'm just saying that's that's uh, okay. So, but that makes sense to, uh, in college terms. It makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. So here's here's where it doesn't make sense. Because if you're twenty, right? he's not it's three years. Here's where it doesn't make sense. Okay. Because okay? now I'm thinking about all the the ridiculously smart motherfuckers I know who got to college at sixteen, fifteen. I thought about that too. Fourteen. When he was playing. You're not fourteen. Sexual, that's sexual. Transactions, yeah, in col- yeah, even in high school, it, it happens. But even in high school, when we look at freshman girls, thirteen or fourteen, mm-hmm. and then senior boys, seventeen, preying on freshman girls, like looking at freshman girls, like oh, the new freshmen. That's even when I was in high school. But I think I, I think at, I think you dragged weird. it just a little bit. Oh my because god! Because taking it to 16, 15, 14, and twelve. But just listen. Here, here's, here's seventeen is the beginning age. Just keep it there. I I, I understand that. I, I do yeah, understand. Y'all both that. don't understand where I'm going, and I appreciate you cutting me off because mm-hmm. now I get to prove my point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I'm in high school, that's the realm. Just like how college is the realm. I'm seventeen. I'm a senior. You're thirteen, fourteen. She's a. Freshman, right? That's still on some predatory joint because I'm 
way more developed, but it's still high school. And that's even when I was in high school, I looked at it that way. Like, yo, bro, that's a little 13 year old. I tell you what's the difference. I'm on your side, by the way, on. but I'm, I'm gonna tell you what's the difference. Minor, but, but now I'm about to go. Go ahead. The, the difference is what, both people at that time, they're at the age of consent. Which one? 17 and 13? No, yeah. 17 and 20 or 17 and 21. When you're at 13, there's no legal age of consent 17 there. is age of consent? Yes, yeah. sir. Where? And In the United States of America, and yeah. most states, is 16. I thought yeah. it was 18. No, sir. 18 the, is when you're old enough to buy legal. cigarettes. The age of consent is you're different 17. than being legal. Yeah, sure. I, I had to do the research. Yeah. I literally opened, I literally did the research. So in most, is, in oh, most states, in most states, the legal age of consent is 16, to be honest. But 17 is the rolling average. No, 18 makes you legal to like buy cigarettes and tobacco 17 and shit. was one of my favorite ages because you can consent to everything grown. You can sign yourself out of high school. You know, but, but, bro, wait, wait, wait. You can, you can do, things you can do. You can do everything grown, but you still are young enough to you where your parents... You still get charged as a child. <laughs> you still, yes. Swear to you God. You can commit a whole murder Nick, and you're a child. you still charged as a child and your parents got to come and get you out of lockup. Mm-hmm. Once you're 18, it's a wrap. Right? Yeah. They, but in jail... They, they'll fuck with you on the they, 17 they shit. It. They changed it now. For jail. They changed it for us because we're super predators. Exactly. Yeah. They'll make you, if you're 17, they're like, oh, we can charge you as an adult. But back to this topic, Sorry, though. but I'm just saying, the legal, 17. The legal yeah, yeah, age yeah. to consent yeah. in most states in this country is 16. 16, yep. But as a majority, it's 17, right? So I, I, I hear what you're saying because it is predatory, and that's what's I'm on your side. But this conversation is slightly different because now we're talking about the legal age of consent. Right. We're talking about two consenting... Adults, which is a term that we're going to use loosely, because like I said, I'm still on your side. If I'm 21, 22, I'm not looking at no 17 year old. That's me. So when I hear his comments, it's weird to me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm it's weird. Even if sure he's still thick, like I, at 21, I've red shirted 16, 17 year olds, literally. I, like, but to me, that I, I mean, if that's I, if, still predatory to me too. If, but if that's I, me. Well, if I gotta well, go, when I say red shirt, it's like. I can't touch as, you now, but as, ooh, no, no, no. So two here, years. Here's the thing: if a shorty, I was on when that. We grew, when we grew, when we, <laughs> that's predatory. I was on that. It is it's predatory. But, but I was, thing, I was we, on like we, yeah, a couple more grew, years. When we grew, was growing up, like that shorties is, is thick as hell at a young age, and yeah. you might not they know. They develop yeah. faster. We might yeah. not know what how old she is. She'd be like, fifteen. Thick as fuck. Think shorty twenty two. Yeah. That's how old you are. She sounds sixteen. We're like, whoa. You're, I'm already attracted to you. Yeah. Now I'm a little turned off. Because you're young. I, 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 I put a block up. Yeah. Right? Something R. Kelly couldn't do. I put a block up saying, this is my boundary. I can't cross it. Yeah. I'm 100%. still attracted to you in a sense. Yeah. But I know I can't cross it. It's just like how um, older women will look at guys in their 20s and like, ah, you're really young. Ah, you're under 30. They still going. Nah, trust me, they're still going. They still going. No, but what I'm saying I, I, is, oh, but that's that's that's, that's that's another double standard in life. That is because that's technically predatory too. But we don't talk it, about it. It's very predatory. I, I lost my virginity to a high school senior, and I was a freshman. I was 13. She was 17, going on 18. Mm. That's predatory, that to be honest. You right? Sue her for rape. I'm a victim. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I'm a victim. Yeah. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. <laughs> but but literally, like we yeah. can have this conversation because we're guys. Yeah. If this was on the other, if we were if, if we were a bunch of women sitting here, it would be like, okay, what's his name? And let's go get him. Right. Let's fuck up whatever he got going on in life going forward. I don't care if he's building a new solar system. Yeah, I don't care if he's what the he leader doing? of the new movement. <laughs> he ain't shit. And dolphins. But no, no, you're right. So that that's just a double standard that we live in. But I do feel. I, I, you think I, that Tiger was right for dating a seventeen year old at twenty five? No, no, no. Who? Tiger, rapper Tiger? No, no, bro. She was seventeen. He was twenty four. Like, like that, I'm just like, yo, nuts. out of all the women at, at Tiger at that and Tiger at that time, this is uh, this is, Rack, this is finally this is Rack famous City. Rack City. This Rack City Tiger. Rack si- Cool. We know he, so nigga. Rack City was. He yo. had that summer. Well, you know, well, we talked about what that. What was that like, album? Uh, the, there was I, it album. don't matter. That song. He had like five songs that sounded the same. Yeah. Uh, it was an album that I remembered. But Rack right City of. specifically. The word, I'm this shit. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the album. But I love that it. song. It so though. I remember that song was everywhere. He like, changed the trajectory. He the hottest nigga the summer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, understand that. And you grab a 17 year old, bro. You had the bro. pick of the litter. Mm hmm. But what was so special about an underage predatory white woman? 
Predatory. Predatory. <laughs> that's the only explanation. My bad. The back head, I'm, I'm Bro, that's the it. only explanation. An underage white woman did it for you, my boy. <laughs> Bro. Homie, she, didn't even, she didn't even look like that two years before. Homie yeah. said, homie said, as long as you got a college ID, I'm fucking. Yo. That's nuts. Okay. That's very wild. I absolutely. You have no boundaries. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't. I, I'm on your side as I far as. 45 in hold college. On. I'm on your side as far as. 12. I think that's. Smart guy. I think that's wild. But I do remember niggas 21, 22, 20 bringing the young girls around. And that's wild. And, and I, go, I remember. I go, that. I, go, I go a step you, further. But do you remember that? I, I go a step further. You would be at a party and you're like, no, yo, who brought? I remember. I remember leaving high school, and oh. having the grown niggas in the cars from mm-hmm. college picking yo. up the girls. Yo. The, the same girls we was trying to bag. Right. We couldn't scoop, but the niggas from the college was pulling up. Bro. That's also predatory. I remember losing every shorty. But you want to know something crazy? But it's okay because a woman. Mm, it's just double standards. Women, women mature double faster standard. than men, it's, so it's it's, cool. No, it's double standards. It's cool for them to say that. It's cool for them. Because but, but, you remember that? When they was in high same, school, when we were sophomores, uh, my boyfriend you know in college. Funny? And they'd be you like, know, ooh, you got a college boy. You know what's it's funny? Like, I, okay, so. You're fucking this grown-ass man, sis. I, I just now got frustrated, right? Because we've been killing academics for the last two weeks for that statement. But if a young lady was to make that same statement, it was like, oh, yeah, when I was in high school, my nigga was 25 and he was picking me up. We, they'll be like, yeah, sis. Go yeah. Get you a grown man I remember who can that. Provide. So no, we'd be killing bro. one man, but we would exalt the next. I was just about to say so, young girls have always like, went after older guys. And yeah. older guys, depending on like, niggas in their 40s, or late 30s or whatever, are going after girls in their 20s. You feel me? So, one thing that I, I remember, I think, that whole... Fucking Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. It's 35-25. 35-25. So one thing, about, one thing that I learned about, like, being young in my early 20s and dating girls who are fine, I'm, comp- I'm competing with niggas in their 30s. And me in my early 20s, I don't got no money. All I got is whatever little, little looks I think I have and right. my wit. And, That's it. And looking back at pictures, I ain't have looks, okay? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just dealing with my, my personality, what we can sure. relate to. So women are experiencing. Oh, I was funny as hell. <laughs> women are women are experiencing life at a way faster rate than men are. Yeah. Because you're able to go into whatever section you want to go into. You're able to go into the club. You're getting invited every which way. You're getting invited to multiple different restaurants. So, right. Because your ticket is you're fine as fuck and you got a fat ass early. My ticket has to be my bread, but I don't have bread at an early age because men don't really even hit their financial peak or whatever until yeah. 45. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So I mean, if you're 20, how much money you got for real? I mean, unless you, you know, I'm selling early, drugs. You know what I'm saying? I'm early you, 20 trying to figure it out. Yeah, and yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. Stand out. Sure. But I'm competing with niggas in their 30s. 40 year old. Right. Like, 40 year old. You're working on your bread. second pension, my man. And it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I feel like people, it's a stigma there, but it's like an understandable, like, yo, we know why she's with him. It's a stigma. You still might look at it crazy, but when it's the other way around, women exalt other women on some, yeah, girl, go get your groove back. Go what? hook up with that younger guy. I mean, oh, I see where you 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 you, you took it for a twist in the end. I wasn't expecting wrong. that twist. It's, it's never they do support wrong. the women that do it the opposite. It's never anything wrong for an older women to mess with a young guy Facts. unless only time it becomes wrong is if that woman is now looking at that younger guy on a relationship status. Yeah, and then it's like, oh wait, no. No, you're but, right. Okay, but you're right. Uh, I, I, He's not a man. What he I, gonna do for you? I, it, that's a he great. He flipped it a little bit. It, it, no, it's a great topic. It's like a it. great. It's a great point of I've conversation. Been there, by the way, but I want to bring it Me back too. to the age, because we're not talking about older women and younger guy. We're talking about twenty-one and seventeen. Like if we stay in that realm, if a 18, woman, 19, 20, 21, we talking four years. So if if a woman was mm. twenty-one. Dating a seventeen-year-old, what will we say? It's fire. Go, <laughs> yeah, we'll be excited go for the my guy. Boy. That's we'll be my like, nigga. Look at you, bro. Go yeah. my boy. That's my yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we got that. Keep it there. Yeah. The man is now twenty-one, and Shorty's now seventeen. What are we saying? What she look like? Why is she what? No, why are you dealing with that young ass girl? Mm, why mm-hmm. you praying on her? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It depends. That's on who weird. You like. 
I'm gonna be. All right. I'm not saying you're not being real, but I remember. I know for a fact. Okay, boom. The more mature Shorty looks, the more niggas around you might give you a pass. Like more attention you get. So if Shorty is 16, 17, but she is stacked. It's true. And you're 21, 22. And she looked 22. That's OD. Right? Oh, now, but you bro, know. Bro, 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 bro. I'm not tell I'm not saying that it was I'm not saying that this is okay. I'm being real about the mindset of the niggas at that age and how they're not condemning each other. Yeah. If Shorty's bad and she looks 21, but she's 16, 17, it's a pass. Now, even if Shorty's bad, but you're 30 plus or you're 30 or 28, 29, it doesn't matter if she's bad. That's too big of an age gap for you to be okay with that. And Do you understand the mindset and, difference? And I, mm. Wait, wait, no, real quick. And that's where R. Kelly fucked up. Real quick. R. Kelly never left the mindset of high school. Exactly. When he was 19, he was bagging chicks, 16 and 17. When, when he was 21, he was, he was bagging, bagging chicks. chicks. When he was 25, 30? he was back. When he was 35, he kept back. And it was like, yo, bro, you got to get out of this, my nigga. Like, but we're not. I want you to understand something, Jay. Niggas are not saying that it's okay. I'm yeah. just being real about how niggas viewed it. Yo, bro. And that's where I have to stop you. Only because yeah. every, every, everyone's... everyone's Upbringing is different? Yeah, and everyone's situation <laughs> is different, right? So, so where I'm from. So, so what I'm saying is me, <laughs> me, me personally, the, <laughs> the reason why I never subscribe to that, yeah. mm -hmm. I have a younger sister mm -hmm. with right. the same age gap. Yeah. So there's no way that I can sit here with the sister that is the age that she is and be like, you know what, I can talk to one of my sister's friends but I grew, I grew up in a household with a young lady. So I can I think, have that. I can see the other side of it. I how, think, far, how, far is this, how far is the gap between y'all? How old is Hannah now? She's 23. She's 23 now? Yeah. No. Damn, she's a baby. She's only 23 now? Either 20, she can't either be 24. 23. We was just chilling last year. See this. Either 23 or 24. You want to say 24? I'm dead serious. Wait, now? No, yes. No, 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 no. 24. 24. Okay. Yo. Cool. No, no, because my memory, 24. Cool. So. Yo, but, bro, your, trying to your say. sister's really young. So Exactly. So but she I'm, looks more mature. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We all, we all can. But I, 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 wow. is not young at all. I no, can, no, but, I, but, I, but it's, uh, we're not talking is about young, today. 21 talking, is young if you rewind it back. Yeah, if we go five so, years ago, six years ago. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So. Wow. Niggas who, 20, niggas is 29. Yeah. You rewind five years back, you're 24, but rewind her five years back. She's that's 19. weird. Yeah, that's she's weird. 18. It's weird. Yeah. So wow. me growing up in the house with a young lady like that, I I could never be like, yo, I, I would never see my sister's friends and be like, ah, perfect. So my perfect age range for me. I think that changes it though. So, so, so you want to. And that's what I'm trying to say. Everyone's situation is different. So here's. here's academics, what I, let me right, just get this. Right. A, a, academics making this statement. I can tell he doesn't have a younger sister right. that was around. I can, I can tell just off the rhetoric, right? Me personally, I grew up in a household With and I've seen it, lady, and yeah. there's yeah. no way. No, but but that changes it though. And that's what I'm trying because to say. Because I, I so got to a little me, sister. To me, I, to me, that's extra weird. I would never. Know my little sister, but I wasn't. We weren't. You were in the same house like at that, that time. Yeah. We weren't around. So, so here's, here's, here's. But had we been, it would be different. It would be different. So here's here's wow. I never thought about that. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Let's say. You didn't have, let's say, okay, how do I put this? He Me, can't. And you, and you. Where it's 11, it's 11 Yo, year mama gap. Your mama and my sister, too. It's a five year <laughs> gap. It's a five year gap between me and you. Yep. And it's like a five, six year gap between y'all, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we're all hanging around, around right? When yeah. I was 19. Yeah. When I was 19, my, I, of course, I showed signs when I was 19, but we hanging around, so I'm, I, there's signs that I'm, I might be mature enough to hang around older people. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, vice versa. Now, when we're all just in a community clique, mm -hmm. the age age starts to blend. When I say age starts to blend, no, it does. us right here as boys, even though there's a 10-year gap, there's a five-year gap, we sometimes are able to coach and talk to each other as, we're, as if we're on the same level. Yeah, I you get it. You feel me? I get what you're saying. I get yeah. it. Sure. So, 
when those lines begin to blur in that way because everyone's in the crew, vice versa, there are times when there are younger women that are in older, older settings. environments. Right. And when you don't have someone of the same exact age that you can relate that person to, to where you know, you could, you're could reminded of, like yeah. you said, you have no friends who are 18. Like, okay. But the, then there's a girl who, who's 18, but she's always around old niggas. Just like, yo, boy, you have a bro who's 19, but he's always around niggas 25, 26. Mm -hmm. Until someone's like, yo, boy, how old are you, 19? Oh, you young. Mm -hmm. But I remember that. I remember that being older, moving to New York, meeting y'all. I remember Barry being too young to get in the club. Hell, when we met you, bro, you was 19. Yeah. You but, were dating, you, you would bring girls, whoever you was dating at the time, right? That yeah. girl might have been two years younger than you. I don't know. <laughs> but if you're 19, you tell me she wasn't 17? Yeah, your 19 was two years. Record. What are you? No, no, no. I, I, I understand. I Do you understand my point? I get your point. So when I saw this little girl, I'm like, look at the little girl. Bro, you used to bring girls all the time to the show. You know what I mean? It, it, bro, at nah, the time, nigga, stop it. <laughs> we talking years ago. Yo, he... Nigga, you're not going to be in trouble, bro. My nigga, this we was talking, years ago. We talking eight my years ex, ago, bro. My ex who has like the old, old number going, find the way. She nah. be all right. She be get all right. over it. She be all right. So, Whatever, so bro. So I get, I get what you're saying. So when you brought those women around, right, mm -hmm. I was at the time 30s, young 30s, right? I didn't see them women like, ha, ha. You want to know what's crazy? I saw them like, these little babies. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, so, this boy got these little babies up in here. So here's, here's, here's. Let me, you remember let me, the show with the, the, the drinking girls? Oh, oh Lord. So, oh, my God. So, so <laughs> Yo. I'm, about to, I'm about to switch it. Was it? <laughs> I'm about to switch it. <laughs> Nigga, just real quick. There's that's all I want to say. There's one joint in particular. Uh -huh. There was a few that were cool. A couple that was hit. Yeah. But there was one joint that was fire okay. in particular who was uh, exactly a year gap of me. Younger. And I uh, nah, older. So when I'm 19, she's all right. 20. All right. All right? But I remember bringing Shorty around, and no matter how old whoever was around, if I wasn't there, looked at Shorty as a prospect. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because she looked a certain way. But then what I'm saying is when you, when you forget, when age is not being discussed right. in that moment between the circle and people seem as if their mentality and their conversation level is on the same level. Right. Things begin to blur. But that's... <laughs> but I, 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 hate, I hate to be this guy, but that is still different from the topic at hand. Because now you're talking about a young lady who is 20, and I'm 24, about to be 25. Nah, that's playing ball. Got you. But, so, I'm but five wait years older but, than but you. If that chick is, but wait, wait. If that chick is 17... But it, it, she wasn't though. Because wait, wait, no. But I've seen that. I'm saying, but you talking but, about a woman but, in college? But, when she was seventeen, I, she looked the same. Understood. But, I've seen uh, that, okay, dog. Okay, that, uh, and you have to be like, wait, how old are you? But wait, because you're I, having a twenty-five-year-old conversation with I'm me right now. I'm I feel like we on the same. I'm literally talking to a, a situation that he's speaking of. So, okay. so he so was nineteen. Shorty was twenty. He brought Shorty around us. Right. He's nineteen. I'm twenty-four, twenty-five. I'm five years older than him. Yeah. Yeah. So now a 25-year-old can look at a 20-year-old and be like, all right, what's good? We can yeah. play ball. That's yeah. different than a 17-year-old. So, I'm trying to say, so, we're so moving the goalposts. So, so, so hold on. Let me ask you a question. Can a 24-year-old talk to a 19-year-old? 24, 19? Yeah. People just got hold, a problem hold, with hold, this. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. You said 25 can talk to 20. I, 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 can, say, to I can say 19 and 24 can talk. Would can, I do it? Can, no. Hold on. Can 23 and 18 do it? No. 23 and 18 is a no? To me. Same gap, same people. Yeah. <laughs> that next shit got to hit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm, but, but I'm weird. I'm, so, weird, I'm I mean, weirded I'm out with shit like that. Nigga. I'm dead ass. So can 25 okay. and 20 do, ha, have, because uh, even at 27, because as I said, I didn't get to finish. We at work, we talking, we like, we, I'm asking everybody. I'm asking managers who's like in their 40s. Yo, how, how, how young is too young for you? Mm-hmm. Right. But, bro, you're 27 right now, right? At 27. Could you date a 17 year old? Oh, you are. Here's the thing. Not only are you. But blind, why not? She grown. So, so, on maturity level, she talked like a 25 year old. I have a, I have a strong record of, for me personally, I have yeah. a strong record of being attracted to an older variety. Okay. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, my record of being attracted to an older variety, naturally, 17, 18, 19, the. 
the average spectrum or even the above average spectrum doesn't fit my desires. So they end up disqualifying themselves regardless. And then even now I'm asking a reason why I'm asking them is because like there's some there's there is there there are new attractive women who maybe who might um, come to the join the job. And I'm like, you're 19. Ugh, I feel gross even. Yeah. Looking at you like you're cute. You I, a do. Baby. I feel right? I feel I feel disgusting. I feel gross even looking There's at you. There's parts about like you're me cute. that's like, ew, I feel nasty. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it's then like, it's like but, but then I remember when I was nineteen. Right. And and vice versa, you feel me? It, 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 it gets weird. It gets, it gets weird, weird, man. Long story short. I wanna keep it right here with the with the, with the weird shit though. Stay legal. Stay legal, my boy. I, I want I wanna keep it with the weird shit, but progress the conversation just slightly. Yeah. Um Deshaun Watson who is the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns right now. Um, he's been in the news for some wild shit. Mm-hmm. He has a total of 24 counts of sexual misconduct. Damn, 24. Right Wait, now. Tw- yeah. tw- what's the number? 24. God. Kobe. Damn. Right? <laughs> um, he has settled officially out of court 20 of the 24 cases. That's good. That's they good settled. Average. That's a good average. You, you, um, he has four cases, four women. They're not dropping it. They don't want no money. They they want to take the shit to trial. Oh shit! Right. He's um, he's accused of fondling, touching, forcibly touching women at massage parlors. Wait, what? That only makes sense. Oh, he's not the masseuse. He's not no, the. Person. He's a football player. Okay, no, but it, th- but you, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like my nigga, that's like what. <laughs> Listen, what? It's like getting sued for eating at a buffet. It's like, my nigga, what the fuck? Bro, nigga, I his, got plates. Nigga, his cases, his counts are harassment, assault, sexual misconduct. What? what at a massage what? parlor? Though? A massage parlor. Like every time? All of them. <laughs> it happened all. He had so, a lot of massages. The reason why it was it was a little weird for me. You must think he worked there. No, nah, we're not <laughs> weird, but the reason why it's a little prevalent to Yo, me, what? we're in the land of exotic massages. How one? Atlanta yeah. is like home of the exotic anything. They got exotic car washes. They, they pull up to the crib. They, they got exotic the house cleaning. Lay it out for you. And then lay you out. So you get on top. They rub your back until you flip over. Deshaun Watson is just out here wilding, you think? Or or is he framed? Or is he, like, uh, did you do that shit for real, bro? Like, 24 counts of nothing to sneeze at, bro. Um, I, don't think he, I don't think he's being framed. So my thing is, what I realize is that there's, a, there's some truth to it. Now, could it be exaggeration? I don't know. I do think that there are cases where... Some things are exaggerated. If, if, if we've all experienced the same person on different levels, but all the levels we can break down and try to say, yeah, this was disrespectful. But in the moment to us, it wasn't disrespectful. Like, so he, someone said something to me March 2nd. Mm, was it disrespectful? Nah. They say something to you March 20th. Crazy. Wow. Mad rude. And then they say to something to him, uh, March 30th, and he's like, mm, what is this? I, I don't really care. Let's say you're pushing the issue and you want bread. You want some type of resolution. And you know that your resolution could be bread. I could be like, well, son said something to me on March 2nd that was racist. Mm-hmm. It was out of pocket, sexist on another level. Technically, you did say that thing, but I didn't really feel no type of way in the moment. But because now I do. <laughs> technically, it's facts. I it's uh and and I don't want to I'm not trying to say that anything that people have brought up from the past is not factual, especially with the Me Too movement. Mm-hmm. But we it's two things you could do: either you can reflect and be like, "Wow, I feel really offended at something that happened years ago, or something that happened a long time ago that I didn't know that I should have been offended by," or you could be like, "Or you could be like, well, this is an this is an opportunity for me to have a come up." And this is why, I, personally, I wish that people learn how to properly express their opinions and express how they feel so there doesn't have to be that gap of reflection. To go. Yeah, I mean, that, that, 
That's a slippery slope. Very slippery. At, it is, because at the same time, you, you can't tell someone how to, to process yeah. trauma. Like, I if agree. something just happened, what if it takes me a week to digest what the fuck happened to me, and now I'm ready to say something? What if it takes you five years? I mean... Well, 30 years, like yeah, all the Bill Cosby shit. It's it, it still... It, you can't tell that person when mm -hmm. they're ready to say whatever. As long as they're not making something up. If, it, if it's a true event, then that event happened. It doesn't matter when I come forth with my story as long as I feel away. Yeah, um, it's, it's more it important that it's twisted, real. But I, I do think that some situations are twisted, though. Like, I, and I do know, so, over, and, and I was just going to, yeah. over time, stories, they get more elaborate. So, so the reason why I say it could be twisted. You know what I mean? Agreed. Over time. The reason why I say it could be twisted is my mindset at a particular time is in a particular way, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's say how we, um, our relationship with white people could be a particular way. But then you learn certain things. And right. then you have certain images. Then you have certain movies. So you, you watch Leonardo DiCaprio and the Django or Django, whatever <laughs> one, Silent B. Is that nigga start, on the mail? <laughs> and now you start viewing... <laughs> He said nigga too freely. Uh, he technically was... There's, nah, there's, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. It's on record, and I actually... The reason why I brought him up because I watched something recently. I did. He that's was hard. really uncomfortable. No, no, no. No, that, no he was. He was. That, that's what they say. Sam, no, no, no. But Samuel Jackson... They had to coach him into Samuel, Yeah. He's Samuel. a great actor. That's what... Yeah. Nah. I would have acted too. Nah, but... I'm not going to be the white guy that looks too comfortable saying... Even it. Samuel I'm Jackson... Have some apprehension. You're right. I mean, but I... I'm not going to lie. I believe Sam... It could all be a lie, but I believe Sam. Sam was like, this nigga ain't want to say the shit. I told him, fuck it, yeah, go for it's, it. It's easy to say that when that's your man's. I don't want to get here because okay, I've, I've been against that for a long You know we've had this conversation too many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with Leo. I feel like he say nigga like, like nobody else that was the, says have nigga. You ever heard him say He's nigga never said it in no other movie. But we will never hear him because we don't need to. But I'm saying in his life, Leo right now, the nigga that's drunk as fuck chilling, I guarantee you he says nigga freely to the motherfucker. Why? Because I know niggas. I know white people. change pe the conversation. I, I'm, I'm going to go a whole other place. I don't want to, but I know white people who has no status, stature, status of Leo at all. And they say this shit like a motherfucker. So you, you, what? You know, Leo done dated mad black girls. That's what I'm saying. That nigga, come on now. That, <laughs> Wait, he is, says is, nigga is, like is a it motherfucker. Okay? Trust me. I got to ask you guys this. Trust so me. I'm, I'm changing the subject. We all up on a I'm tangent. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But if you're a white guy and you dating a black girl, and she like, and you fucking white guy. And she like, call me a nigga. Just because. I just don't know any black woman that would say that. No? No? Call me a nigger? It depends. While fucking? I, I, I don't I mean, know. Have you, I, I, I haven't had that vice, experience. Vice versa. I'm, I'm vice versa. There's I've never been a white woman again in my life. Black so guys who know. are messing with white women, and they might request it, or shorty might just say it. That's just weird to me. It's Give weird. Me that nigger dick. Mm, weird. That's what, but that's weird. what I'm asking. It's weird to me too, personally. I, I'll be honest. Weird fetishes. Yeah, yeah. That's, weird. that's what a fetish is. It's weird. It's a weird, weird shit. Thing. You have a nigger fetish. That's weird. <laughs> no, nah, but like some people like Foot like fetishes are weird. Like yeah, very. It ain't no nigger fetish. I mean, it's like different levels of weird, but it's still the same category. <laughs> Once again, nah. not what well, I don't. What nah. was it? What they call it? Fetish shame? What they uh, kink shaming? I don't kink shame nobody. Whatever yeah. you do. Oh, it, oh, oh yeah. If no, whatever I, you do, I, what you do. I do. I don't. If your kink is a nigger shaming. Or nigga, if you have a nigger kink, no, I'm, I'm shaming that. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not. You have a pegging kink? <laughs> I'm not shaming it. We had that conversation already. Yeah, well, I know, it was last but week. Once again, that's, that's different than that word. I'm sorry. If, if mean, that is your thing, if that gets you off, it's So would you rather get. <laughs> I, would so you, my, my kink, would I, you rather get pegged or, or nigga, nigga, nigga bed fucked from a white person? <laughs> nigga bed fucked. But what? Would you I rather, don't know. Would you rather <laughs> get pegged? You got one choice, A, a or B, and, don't, and you, you can't, you can't, nigga. you can't Bro, slide out of nigga it. all day. I'm, okay, I was just I'm kidding. All the niggas, kidding. like I'm every nigga. <laughs> I am every single nigga. Get the whip. I'm, I'm all every the niggas. Nigga. Yeah, like, these niggas is these me. These niggas is me. Like, I'm every nigga, baby. <laughs> like I, I be every nigga. I'm, get the whip. I ain't uh, getting okay, the I was just kidding. I was just kidding. If you had to pick one, I never rode on the pegs as a little kid. I ain't never. I don't like peg leg niggas. I don't like. I, I had pegs on my bike. Never, I did have pegs on my bike. Never had pegs on my bike. Did you have pegs on your bike though? 
Yeah, I had packs in my black. Yeah, packs in my black. I had a little brother, bro. We got to ride to the store together <laughs> type shit. Yo, was but, he on uh, the handlebars or was he on, on the... He was on the pegs holding my shoulder. Oh, shit. All right. Was he massaging? He's stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Deshaun Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bring it back full circle. So Deshaun Watson, I, I, I personally, I don't know how it, how it is. I just do know that there is some truth to it. I think that uh, sometimes when you get into positions of power, people forget that everything is politics. You know what I'm saying? Everything is politics. You got to be careful with everything you do, and that's a sad... I had an alternative theory that okay. I wanted to run by, y'all. Damn, all 24 of them? You think so? Yeah. Damn, she... Alternative theory. Let's do it. I could be wrong. I'm. I don't know. I don't know this nigga from holding the wall. I don't know none of these people. I don't know none, nobody. I bet you some of the people do. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Just saying. You are a massage therapist. Let's say it's an exotic massage. Okay. Right? You can touch the individual. If the individual touches you, and you deem it as unwanted, you can crucify that individual. Right. Just like how Coyle Ray did homie on the stage. Oh I'm twerking God. on you. I didn't say that you can touch me. But I'm twerking on you. Right. I'm yeah, violating yeah. you. So what's the theory? What, what's the so my theory is, what if a sexual act is committed on him, mm -hmm. he then indulges in the sexual act, right? Now, they can use that against him. Oh, I didn't ask for it. I'm performing an act. I'm doing my job. No one said for you to get involved. Now I feel weirded out. And now somebody's like, oh, he did that to you. He did it to me, too. Oh, you, too? Oh, yeah. And, but in the, on, the side, on Deshaun Watson's side, he's like, well, I was having sex with these women because they initiated it and it was touching me. Oh, I got it. So pretty much he was fucking the, the, the massage therapist and everybody want to dog pile on him right now. Yeah. Alternative like, theory. I, gotcha. I don't know if there's any truth to it at all. I'm just let's just throw gotcha. something else in there and just discuss gotcha. it. Okay. It's, it could be possible. Cause this is 24 times. I don't. The, 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 I, I the, don't the, feel like he's a serial raper. That, just that out here number. Like, that just, number is what got me. When you said 20, I'm like 20 cases. 20 cases means no, 24. 20 settled. No, no, 24 total. But, yes. but the fact that 20, 20 got settled. settled, that means it. Like you said, something happened. I think the other four didn't get the, the amount that they wanted. Yeah. I think the other four, some shit happened. And the other 20s on something like, ah, I was just here for the ride. Yeah. I got some bread out of it. Yeah. But that's alternative oh, effects. He oh, yeah. ate my pussy, I made $10,000. You know what I mean? Like, let, let, let's call it funky. You know, keep it funky. The other women's like, well, 10 ain't enough for me. <laughs> but you want to know what's crazy? Like I said, I have no truth to this yeah. at all. Yeah. I just Some people are going to say that. Some people, it's like, both ways you can look at this. Some, people, some women will look at this and be like, wow. You don't believe the woman or the woman is being, you know, deemed as a bad person. But then we act like women have never lied on men. You know how many men, you know how many guys in college lost scholarships? Oh, nigga lost freedom. Lost freedom. Lost, like, their whole name. No matter whether it's facts or not, they've been accused. So now everyone knows you for being an accused rapist. Bro. Yeah. The you whole entire civil rights movement happened because of Emmett Till. And sis came out and said that she was lying right before she died. Right before she died. Which is some fuck shit. She said that Emmett Till came out and whistled to her. <whistles> and she, and they raped him, killed him, beat him up, did all that shit. Started civil rights, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, all of that. And then, for real, before she died, she said, yeah, I was lying. No, legit. Legit. Uh, you remember that Emmett Till shit? Yeah. I was just joshing, bro. I made that up. Like, what? It's crazy. And that's still women lie on Women lie on that's men still, a but, lot. But, but it's such a gray area. It's like back pain. We can't prove necessarily <laughs> in the moment of your lying. And because it's such and you a... Also, you also can't victim shame. And we victim can't blame. Victim shame you say it's like back pain? Yeah, I can't. I'm true. fucking with it though. No, you, can't, you can't assess it. You I can't, can't assess, assess it. it. I can't yeah. prove it for real. If motherfuckers say they back hurt, you just gotta be like, eh, I guess it hurt. They got to go with it. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. But then over time, you know, <laughs> it may pain. come out, it may not come out. But it's right. like, it's aren't you proven innocent until aren't you innocent until proven guilty? Not if you're a black man. Not if you're a black you know man that. in America. Come on now, you yeah, asking yeah, questions yeah, you know the answer yeah, to already, brother. 
Will yeah. not be a man. Is yeah. it? You Niggas is locked up right now on Rico charges. No, no, no. no if, if they're not if, charged, if, if you're a white man, you get away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We know and I, I hate to do this because I feel like it's dirty macking, right? Not but all if, of them. If, if if we're in the realm of football, right? Deshaun Watson is going through this. Twenty-four counts of sexual misconduct. Ben Roethlisberger has been found guilty <laughs> of rape. Yeah, they call him Big Ben twice. I mean, Big Ben. Damn. Damn, ben twice? Roethlisberger has been in court twice on rape charges. He's a white man. Different conversation. Wow. And that's rape. Deshaun Watson, they talking about sexual misconduct at a massage parlor. It's already a sketchy place to be. And he already settled. <laughs> he yeah, settled man. 20 cases. Let's say it was a mill apiece. It's a settlement we talking about. You got to pay up, brother. 20 mil. Just saying. All right. Just something to talk about. Like I said, I, bro. The other, so, the, other, the other four women won 10 mil. There was so much shit to talk about this week. I was so happy. Like, bro, we been right. going. Let's get it. What's next? Y'all, y'all want to have a fun topic or you want to have some serious shit? Let's fun. You want to go fun for real? Are we going to have to Or do you want to end with this? Because this is going to be great. This is going to be great. All right. Let's do more serious. It's not really serious, but it's informative. All right. Let's do informative and then let's end. We covered fun. the story um, not too long ago. The reason why I don't care is because I'm going to end up. Going off on a tangent anyway, so don't I mean, yeah, we, come on now. So Drake's album, go ahead. Horrible. <laughs> the <laughs> reason, uh, 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 not too long ago, we covered a story Honestly, about, never mind. Um, we covered a story about <laughs> um, a tran- transgender women who have now entered into um, compet- competitive um, swimming. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Homie that was whooping everybody. Yeah, he, he was like ranked 464th as a man. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. like placed number one as a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 468. We're going to make sure we know how trash he was. Yeah, he was 468 as a man. Right. And mm. like placed in the world as a woman after mm. he transitioned over, right? The whole world, Craig. So oh, the man. Olympic okay. and the. It's called um, FINA, F I N A. That's what I'm about to do. What they I'm finna. Do? <laughs> what they finna do? What they do? <laughs> I'm finna. So what finna. <laughs> also with um, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh no. They've teamed up to get transgender women nah. out of the sport. What do you mean? Oh, I did. I did so see that article. So, yes. So now transgender. Basically, to create their own sport. So transgender women I said are. That week, I said that months ago. Yeah. Wait, wait hit me out. Let, let me get this out. Transgender women have officially been banned from competing in Olympic and world competition Let's swimming. Oh, they go. saying that you now have to had transitioned before the age of twelve for you to be considered to be a full transgender woman in okay, competitive Dwayne swimming. Okay, Dwayne Wade, daughter, you could compete, yo. But Dwayne, but Dwayne, Dwayne Wade was actually against that though. He was actually talking mad shit. Damn about it, that. it's so blurry. So pretty much, <laughs> what, what they're saying is. If you went through puberty as a man and then transitioned, you already got all that you have to offer as a man competing. Your hormone levels are set. Right. Everything is there. You, you, you went through puberty as a man, wow. so you cannot compete with women. I feel like it's so now the, that thing. same transgender um, woman who, who, who was whooping, whooping her, all whooping the her, women man. ass, he, I mean, she can no longer compete in world competition and others like her. So now the world is up in an uproar. I love it. They shouldn't be. On both sides. That's like, that, that, and that's so it, stupid. It's amazing to see the points and the, just the arguments back and forth. Because you would think, you would think, right? Women and transgender women, they have been on the same side for a lot of this, to be honest. Because they're against men. Right? But what happens is when you start beating women... When you start whimp, whooping women ass and some shit, you're no longer a woman. You're no longer a woman. Now was get get that fucking man out of here. Mm. He has an advantage. What the fuck's going on? That nigga's six four. My my little Susie is five three, and she's been eight. swimming her whole life. We're all in eighth grade. So now we're seeing dissension between the ranks. I, I I love it. And it is, bro. It's been crazy to see and to see that it. Caitlyn Jenner is leading this charge. Yes. she's a real nigga. She is a real nigga. Yeah, nah, she is. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She's, like, no, like she's even, a real nigga. Uh, nah, she is. On all, she, in she's all, a in real all ways. nigga, yeah. No, 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 but I, I'm actually like. 
that you joke know, has layers. It's like an onion. Wow. <laughs> has layers. It's a Caitlin. Peel Imagine back. the peeling. You're going to get a fade. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That is nasty. No, no, no. So what Spicy I, what I, is what, what it I is. I do like, um, <laughs> I said this a minute ago. I said this a minute ago that you're, yeah. once you become, once you, once you say you don't want to be a man, and you're trying to be a woman, you can't be a woman. You weren't born. I, I, I know they say 12, but even at 12 or 11, there was a lot of men and got the kids in sixth grade that were way more stronger than the women in sixth grade. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. we weren't playing ball with the girls in junior high school. I think that once you're born a certain way, let's say by five or whatever, you should, you, you, you are now your own gender. You deserve your own league. There needs to be a transgender woman to man league, a transgender man to woman league. And that's that, that I absolutely that, that, agree. Like, that's what like, they have. And you agreed know, I really absolutely disgusting agree. Disgusting and what and and what I feel like people are now noticing is that with the oh woo, she's my cross to bear with the LGBT plus community when you tell when you say no. Usually it's with women in general, but let's just say anything not man, not straight heterosexual man. When you say no, it's a red flag. It's a why not, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so if we say no, you're not able to, to, to play with us. Or they will say, why not? We should be able to. You go, go ahead and give us a permission. You lay down the rules and the logic. It's a pushback until this happens. This had, had to have happened where Leah Thomas went crazy and got all type of goals, even though we could look and say, yo. You remember the name. Yeah. That's good. Journalism. Nah. Hey. What the fuck you talking about, hey. nigga? What you talking about? We outside, nigga. Um, I forgot what his first, what his, her first name Her, was. her. Be correct about it. I said it's my cross the bear. Nah, nah, we're not doing that. I can't be disrespectful. One more cross to bear. One more. God only my life. Sorry, that's all right. All right, that's all I was saying. So, so, I, I won't be disrespectful. You're okay, right. All right, DMX. Rest that's in peace. DMX okay. shit. I like peace to the dog, God man. Only so, so, what I'm saying that's is I'm that had to happen where it's obviously wrong. You want to know what, uh, Dave Chappelle said it recently uh, on one of his specials. He said, yo, you could do two things. Even you could, like, LeBron James goes to the WNBA. He goes from averaging 28 points to 840 points a game. And you can either, watching it, you can either stop it or shut the fuck up. That's it. You are, I just, I just like that. As, as of right now, they stopping that shit. Yeah, you gotta now, stop. But it. I mean, you gotta stop it because you saw it with the MMA, homie, bro. You should not. Broke, bro, oh, broke. Oh, oh, I'm not even calling him a girl. No, where, where, fuck that. Homie was fucking up them girls, dog. And that ain't even. It's not no, even. No, but like fair. fractured trans, skulls. They got transgender MMA. Yes. yes. But like fractured orbital bones. I'm and talking skulls. fucking a face up. Like men kicking women in the face with knees, bro. Like what's so they could do that, but we can't. Uh, no, no, no. But but if it's two women, I feel like it's even. <laughs> you ain't get it, not. I, yeah, nah, I, man, my bad. I totally missed it. This thing is the worst, bro. But but still, <laughs> I, that's just unfair, son. Like for real. Come on, bro. But thanks to Caitlyn Jenner and the the Finna the committee. Kate, man. That um, I did just get their own league. I'm saying no, well, but, if, but, if, but that, if, that's, that's if, what they're working towards. If their movement is that big, get your own league. But that's, you know what? I said the same thing. You can do the big I said three. the same thing but, about. But to be honest, real quick, real quick the, the I said the, I said the same thing about the bathrooms. Um, just make a transgender bathroom, so that way you cool too, or, right? Or, but 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 here's the part for me that's crazy, right? Real quick. I don't like the fact that when you transition. You are fighting to be something that you were not originally. You can't tell them that. Huh? I, you can't tell them that. And that's what I was saying about because it's, anything it's, it's, non-man. It's, 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 it's you, their feeling. I can't tell you that. And, and it's, it's their feeling. I agree bro, with you there. Bro, but what are you talking about? You think you could identify as a white man? Huh? 
But, no, damn but, dreads? but but no, I, so I, I I'm a man, so I can I can identify there. But that, you, but that, but you can't identify as a white no, man. No, but, okay. But, but, but wait, wait, sir, wait, 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 real be, quick. Be, okay, wait. No, to, to identify, we're talking about a sex. We're not talking about a wait, race. No, no, no. But no, hold on. But no, you have. There's nobody I that I know of has said I identify as an Indian man. Wait what happens? They're saying is I identify minute. as a woman. I identify I, as a but, man. They're doing the you, sexes, not races. Let me shoot you some bail. Real quick, real quick. Wait, stop, stop. Let me shoot. I'm gonna shoot Lamar some bail here because that's what Dave Chappelle pointed out. He was like, "This only can happen with white." People, no, bro. A white man can say I'm a woman, and that's it. You're gonna respect me on that. Period. A white man. A white man. A white woman. Rachel Dolezal can identify as a black woman. You, you know who Just Rachel Dolezal is? Ra- Rachel Dozer. The, you don't know the, yeah. the, yeah. the, the, yeah. the, the, the white chick that. What, what's that? Uh, uh, NAACP? Yeah, she said she was the head of the NAACP. <laughs> Yo, that's the hilarious. head of the NAACP. <laughs> she identified as a black woman. Right? Mm-hmm. And but, she's not. But mm-hmm. as a black man, you can be trans. You can't say you white, though. And that's hilarious to me. And that points out something that, that, that puts racism into the transgender shit. Mm. And that's what Dave Chappelle is going at. Mm. Because he was like, only white people can do this. He's like, I've been fighting with, you, you, you probably saw the yeah, story. He said, yeah, I've been fighting yeah. with white people. He was like, I've only just been fighting with white people. He was like, but now you call yourself a girl, so now I'm sexist. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. I hated you as a white guy. Now, so, now, I'm, now sexist? I'm sexist? It's like, yeah. Yo, how the fuck do you beat woman. that, bro? Like, what the fuck? You don't beat it. You, you just, know, and, you just and, and then it's the whole thing. Well, you can't tell a person how to feel. You can't tell a person I mean, what. You, ba- can't. you can't tell them how to be. That's but wrong. then he said, if I call myself a Chinese woman right now, you know, he's like, fuck it, I am Chinese. It made the joke, whatever. It was mm-hmm. stupid, right? But he was like, no, I can't do that, yeah, right? I respect it. Why? So it's it's I, I, absurd. No, it's not absurd. It, you didn't put the work in. If you got really good at math. If you if you improves your credit score, <laughs> I'm not gonna support that bullshit. You gonna turn that mic off? That's racist. All right. That's bad. Okay. All right. He's like, I'm if you could cook the shit out of rice, you feel me? If like, you if you if you got wild rice cookers, if you could make wontons <laughs> at a drop of a dime, what? We don't have a big Asian. Yo, so what well, we you, did? We lost got, them, We did. If we you had got them, abacuses we, uh, just in your kitchen, just you know what an abacus you think, is, right? Would you Would you let Rachel Dozel do your hair? <laughs> she black, bro. Her braids were tight as hell. You know what I'm saying? Room. Nah, that should be elite, nigga. Like, <laughs> I mean, it bad my shit. Her shit was tight. Her, her, her shit her would be elite. Three years. Years. Yo, elite. we got. Bro. Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> let's have some fun. I got two fun topics to talk about. All right. Oh, I got one more. Cool. Small. Small. Cool. I don't want to talk about it long. Do it now? Just speaking to athletes, because we was talking on the sports shit. Okay. Um, Shikari. Shikari. Mm-hmm. Oh, she Richardson? whooping ass. In fish she ass. whooping ass. Nigga. Hey, you, saw that, you saw that race? I clear. I shared it, bro. You did? She's. I cried a little bit. No like, one. Like, no, no, I'm not gonna dog, lie. No, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I teared up too. I choked up because she you. whooped ass. She's dog, bro. Whoop motherfucking ass. Yo, Shikari, bro. Shout out to you, my yo, guy. yo, sis. Keep doing your and thing. The thing is, and fuck Jamaica with they one, two, three. Fuck them. Ah, uh, <laughs> gonna be an avid. Uh, this gonna be something I do a lot. Okay. <laughs> he get crazy. Swing it back, man. Fuck Jamaica, dog. He's nah, but, all right, all right. but 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 not only not only what's her she... name? Uh, Elaine Thompson. Nah, she was whooping ass too, though. I give her props. No, too. Elaine Thompson fast as shit. Nah, she fast as fuck, bro. Yeah, she fucked up Shakari. Yeah, in fact, she would catch you. Um, you can't even run away. <laughs> <laughs> she would catch you. She catch you in everything. A lie. Catch you. Stupid. In a... But nah, right. Shakari. Um, <laughs> so all I'm trying to say is Shakari whooped ass real quick. Shout out to Shakari. It was not a news topic. We don't want to see greatness. We only that's, want, that's we, the only we, reason we, why I want to bring it up. You want to know why? I don't want to put a lot of time. We want to talk but negative. Nigga, you want to know why? You she won. Story? And you know why yo. Comeback story? It's all said in unison. She's black. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what they made the story about? They made the story about her outfit. Her fishnets? The fishnets. It was like, oh, Shikari stuns in a fishnet outfit. It's like, yo. No, she didn't. She just she won. She ass. 
In no, a 200 it, meter. It wasn't close. She whooped ass. In a 200 meter. Now, mind you, she lost. And, and I just want to say real quick, the one that she had lost in was the 100 meter. She mm. won in a 200 meter. Put the Bro, she ran, on. you ran farther and faster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the story. You but, know what I'm saying? You know, to be honest. The story should be Shakari comes back with a big. No, no, nothing. Where is that? What, you, you wanna, you, black. You, to be honest with you. It's crazy, bro. It's not just that. She didn't beat any of the people that beat her. And I, and I, I understand that she in She didn't sports. face, what's her name? Elaine Thompson. So now she has that chip on her shoulder. She can't she got, nah, she, she she gotta beat Elaine, though. To be honest though. with you. Bro, she got to beat Elaine, like though. You but don't she like it, but it's Elaine, real. Though. She got to beat Elaine. I don't like it. It's, I, it's the I, same I, reason why KD is not respected. Facts. You was down 3-1 to the same team that beat you, and then you jumped on their team? We come on. Imagine if Shakari now ran from the Jamaica track team. Well, I, I can believe that she might have some Jamaica in her. I, me too, because she's black. But I'm just saying, we would, we'd be like, ah, get the fuck out of here. Nah, for real. If she ran we from Jamaica, respect her. we'd be like, we wouldn't respect her. You got to beat Elaine, bro. You got to beat Elaine Thompson. Well, no, no, what if she, like, hold on. Jamaicans can beat other Jamaicans. It'd be like three of them running in one race. Granted, she got to beat them with an American flag on her back, and then she could be Jamaican. Could you imagine if she has the Jamaican flag? She was beat us in. And it rips it off. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought me. <laughs> oh, shit was sweet. <laughs> American flag out of nowhere. I don't know, but Fish you know what, though? On. That's hilarious. Just but track she, runner to she, track runner. She whooped ass. I don't, I don't think she could beat Elaine, though. You said track runner to track runner. I'm saying, like, uh, basketball player. Oh, to no, basketball. no, no, no. I, 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 was, I was with you. I was like, the fuck? He ran no track. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, 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 it's like basketball player to basketball player. Yeah, he's like. Uh, I didn't know what you no, no, meant. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I was comparing them as okay, track Okay, you should have you 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 specified. Track you should have specified that because you made it seem like you was in the track community. Wow. I didn't even know that meant that. What you thought he ran for? Nigga, what? A 1580, nigga. <laughs> you ran. Yo, what's funny is I run. It's, it's, it's so amazing. And you can all you want, but I'm chill. Okay. Yo, I don't know why. Yo, America. <laughs> these mother, d- these two specifically. America. <laughs> always thinks that, America. like, because a nigga chunky, that, like, I'm not athletic. I'm terrible at basketball. I can't well, no, run. Well, okay, wait, sir. I don't I, live. I've actually, I don't. I've actually nigga, played basketball with you. You're not, I'm not, you're not, you're not terrible. Bad. You're not I'm terrible. I'm athletic as fuck. Fuck and I and I love I don't get the jokes. It's like nah, my you, nigga. No, because you always overdo it. If you say you're athletic, cool. But when you put the ass fuck in there, it's like nah, bro. you're not athletic as fuck, Dave. You're athletic though. How many I, times do I have I to think, prove these things? I think your ass fuck is on a different level than most people's ass fuck. Facts. Your ass fuck could be on a lesser level. Cool. You're you're athletic as fuck on a level two. I get it. You know what? I think you're athletic as fuck, Dave. It's crazy. I don't know how much how much more I gotta prove. You don't gotta prove anything to me, Dave. No, I do. I do. Hey, hey, Yo, stop, stop look, cool. I'm about to throw my fish nets on. Hey. <laughs> I run the fuck out of y'all niggas. Hey, <laughs> hey bro, hey, bro. You if you threw about? fish nets on and beat us in a race, you bro. have a bigger conversation more after power, that. More race. power to you. Hey. You have a bigger conversation. Hey. I might buy some fish nets. <laughs> obviously, gave him superpowers, nigga. If hey, you beat me in a race. That's it. That's it. Nah. I got to get some fish nets. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Which movie... Which movie would you watch? Movie. Which movie is better? Belly or Shotters? Mm. Shotters. Well, I just saw Shotters the first time. Uh, but I told you, like, mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. two years ago for the first time. To the point where I finally got all the jokes. It, like, it finally clicked. Like, you done too much, dog. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's what niggas was saying. Gone too yeah, 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 yeah. I, y'all used to say that for years. Yes. And I was like, what are they talking about? So I finally saw Shotters. It was good. But I'm older and I'm, I'm a hip-hop dude. So I'm, I'm going to always go belly. I mean, belly was... No, was, no I love... Was, no, Shotters was fire. But I'm... I'm going Shatters. I'm a, I'm a, I'm hip hop nigga. I'm always I'm always go Belly, and the plot of Belly was trash. Was Terrible. Terrible. The movie was booty. Like as far as what was going on. So that's trash. where I wanted to take yeah. it to. Shatters was a I way better. You say you're a hip hop dude. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that Damon Marley. Is Damon Marley one of them? Ziggy mm-hmm. one of them? Somebody. Somebody Damon. Marley's. Damon, right. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that one of the Marleys and was it Bunty Killer? Okay. In the movie? No, nah, it wasn't Bunty Killer. It just was finished. Spraga. It just finished. Yeah, Spraga Benz. Spraga Benz. Yeah. Benz. Growing up, I didn't realize that it was those two artists. 
I just saw a dope movie mm -hmm. that had a decent plot line. It wasn't amazing. Nah, way better than Belly. It definitely a way better, better plot <laughs> Shit, if you got to go plot on plot. That, 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 this is what I'm saying. And Yo, son, not only way better I think I'm going to go to Africa. <laughs> not only, I don't know where. <laughs> not only way better plot line, but <laughs> way better action. Mm -hmm. Way better action. And, and it crossed over. It wasn't just in one the, the the setting wasn't just one place. Shot this is a it classic. It was in Miami. Movie. It yeah. was in Miami in the city. It had Miami young Khaled the, uh, in there. Young Skinny Khaled. Khaled. Skinny Khaled is in the movie. No big Khaled. Clef is in it. Why Clef? Why Clef is in there. They like, had um. Why Clef is actually a pretty good actor, by the way, from that movie. Like, nah, he's no, but he's I have never seen him be bad. He's been in a couple other movies. He decent. Then they had him in Jamaica. They had him in different parts of Jamaica. Like when I really, they they embodied. The uh the Jamaican club scene at the party scene yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just so you really just want to say belly because it was too no hip hop because the same way the same way how you can talk about shatas like that that's how I can talk about belly. So talk belly about at the time was produced by the greatest music video maker of the time, Hype he Williams. Should, he should be embarrassed. Hype Williams. No, he's not a writer. He's a every a video scene. Director. Bro, the however you want it, with the eyes, with the fucking nigga. No, the, that, that's the best walk-in scene. Bruh. That's the best intro to any movie I've ever seen, uh, if, we're, if we're being honest. Uh, that shit, bro, it's just fire. The colors, every single shot, because he's a movie, a uh, 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 music video director. Now, the colors on Keisha, uh, Keisha right? Yes. When they was fuck, bro. That color when she was sitting there with the all white. Nigga. It was white, right? It was white. Oh, it was white. that. I remember DMX house, the Her white house. Skin. I remember when they fucked in the black. Glistening. Bro, every single shot Man, was amazing. And Williams this is the guy at the time that was making all of the greatest videos. We talking Missy videos, Busta Rhyme videos. Every person who had the best videos in the 2000s was a Hype Williams video. So, be, so the visual, so the and fact the that budget he, was crazy. Oh yeah. Oh my god. The no, no. no. Was for you to get a for you to get a Hype Williams. Uh, um, fuck. Two point five. Who was talking about that shit? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I saw it with Nori. Nori. Nori was talking about it. He was talking about how how <laughs> how he was raping everybody on videos. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you want a video two hundred fifty thousand. Like what? <laughs> two hundred fifty thousand. You want a Hype Williams video? You want a Hype Williams video. You know what I'm saying? The 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 Busta Rhymes, Jenna Jackson video. How you what? Bit of what? Did it? Swear. You remember that shit with the water and they was melting in. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 just the video. So the fact that that guy said I'm gonna make a movie. At the time, nigga, hip hop went fucking crazy. What? The the, the hottest nigga is gonna make a movie, nigga? We are down. And you put I, all I of it. the hottest rappers. I get it. Dmx, Method Man, Nas. What the fuck? It was going crazy. Like I'm just saying, at that time. I, I get it for the culture. It was I wild, and, and, I'm, and that's what I'm a tad bit older. I remember that the, the hype around fucking belly, bro. I want to make a segue right now. Fucking Tion, nigga. We're, we're talking about talent. Hey, hey. We're talking about talent, and this conversation. But shoutouts was a shit. I'm not arguing. No. This, this conversation yeah. fell on, fell on my lap this week, yeah. and I was like, oh, I can't wait to bring it to the fellas. Yeah. Who was more talented? Oh, oh, there you go. I already know. Let's go. I was waiting. Michael you know, Jackson or Chris it, I Brown? Knew I knew it was going. I knew it was going. I knew it was I, going. I, I, I was so excited. I couldn't fucking wait to talk about it. This is the only one I didn't put in the chat. And I was like, I got a topic. But I was like, you know what? I'm glad you. Yeah, yeah. Who is more talented, bro? Like, I'll let you go first. Oh, you want me to answer? Oh, that's yeah. actually good. That's you don't ever start first. Oh, that's cool. Um, good, good flip. Who is more talented? Uh -huh. Chris obvious. Brown. Chris Brown, is, Chris Brown is by far, to me, and I have, I'll be caveat man for the first time in my, my man. career. Caveat <laughs> man. Um, my only caveat is Michael Jackson didn't have social media to show his talents if he had. And, but fault, and faults. I'm just talking about talent. I'm not talking about the best singer. I'm not the best oh. songwriter, best dancer. Talent. If, if your talents could be numbered... Right. One to fifteen. If they had a, a versus battle for talent, I think Chris Brown would have more talents. Chris Brown makes clothing. 
Chris Brown fucking sculpts. He paints. He's a painter. Yeah. He, he does more shit to me than what I saw. He's a great basketball player. He has so many he's talents. He's a really good basketball player. He's a really he's, good basketball player. He's highly player. competitive. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, no. He like, can low key. Up, I was like, yo, I, I, I want to cook him. Then oh, he's like 6'1, 6'2. Watch yeah. him more, Mike. He's nice. He's he'll right. cook me. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, he's yeah. right. He'll get me. He's but right. I've, I've never seen Michael Jackson play a sport, and I don't think he'll be good at any sport. And I only so saw, that's one more we, talent we saw than Michael Chris do it has. in the jam video with Michael Jordan. Nah, it's a dub. Yeah, it's a jam video. I, per, I, per, I personally think, think that in the talent department, decent actor. In the talent department, not even decent. He I runs think he's a good actor. circles around he Michael Jackson. He killed takers. But that was my shit. Oh, yeah, that no, runs. I, just, I didn't want to say decent, just so people don't. You remember argue. that? You remember that no, scene? No, because no, what, what what happens is everybody hears Michael Jackson and they think it's blasphemous to say that anybody is it's touching him in Michael anything. Yeah, but yeah. if we're talking about talent and how many talents one person may have, to me, Chris Brown slaps Michael so, Jackson. So this is where, That's just being real. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, you want me to go? I'm no, gonna. I just want to say it's only that, like you say, we only talk about music ability. Oh. You want to go? Or you want? I'm saying, but I'm saying the same thing. Like, when you think about Michael Jackson, it's not that we put him in a box. He perfected the box. One thing. <laughs> Two, three. I'm saying about the three. box that he about three said. He, he perfected I got you. His vocal. The Michael Jackson box Still, is the Michael I'm Jackson box. Singing and dancing. Yeah. I'm very, very, I'm be very honest with you. Yeah, we could argue. There's not all of Michael Jackson's lyrics I understand because of the pitch that it was sung at or the, the vote. Am I making sense? I can get that argument. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I can understand I the do. argument. He could have articulated his words a little better, but we're not, we're not going to say that. We're not because I can't disrespect Michael when it comes to singing, right? Mm. Vocals is amazing. Songs are really good. Did he write all his music? No. Nope. La- uh, later. Later he did. Didn't write a lot of his music. That's what I'm trying right? to say. And as a hip hop community, we Nah, but you're a singer, bro. You can't do that. Beyonce don't write her songs either. No, no, I don't really like that. Uh, we're gonna talk about that next. Beyonce don't write her songs either. I got you. We're gonna yeah, talk about that next. Yeah. We're gonna talk about that next. I, like we'll end on that. The whole yeah. ghost writing in yeah. hip hop. Because Chris culture, Brown don't write his songs either. The culture to me. Right? Well, he writes more than Michael. But look, I mean, I, you I, could tell Chris Brown's songs, they all talk about his dick. But he writes. <laughs> the dick songs? All his he, good songs, somebody else wrote. But what is, he uh, wrote. No, no, no. The dick. All right. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Who got more bars? Michael or Chris Brown? And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rap yeah. bars. Because Chris, rap are Chris singing is bars. smoking rap. that nigga. Chris but, is smoking but him. But in rap, yeah. But that's, a, that's another talent. You can rap. So who's the more talented? That's what I'm trying to say. So, so, so we're going to talk talent. about this. No, no. I, we gonna, number one, way more talented. He's way more awesome. all around. He has way more surprising attributes. Every other day, I'm like, that nigga can sink a full backflip on beat. Yo. Dance, bop, bop, shit, bop. He can't. You're like, huh? You want to know the best <laughs> concert the that fuck? you'll ever to go to? To March Madness. The nigga, best, what? The best concert that you'll ever go to yeah. is, a Chris, is a Chris Brown concert. Yeah. No other concert is going to be as entertaining. Once again, Chris Brown, a little baby, coming to Atlanta. No, <laughs> that, that show's going to be stupid. He's getting paid for this. No, this is not an ad. This is not an ad. I'm, I'm just saying. Right, yeah. No this other is, concert. <laughs> Is as entertaining as a Chris, Chris, Chris Brown, 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 Brown. I've been Brown. to one. <laughs> on my left. feet the whole time. Yeah. Right? You, you, you actually screaming? saw me? You were huh? screaming for you, him? You actually went to a Chris Brown concert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you were screaming young, for him? Young, young, younger or like older? Uh, show you, uh, t- I was 22, 23. Show you I was dating at the time. So about five years Her ago? Great friend. Yeah, good friend was. That's still decent, though. That's still, uh, that's still deuces. Yeah, no, that's still. Deuces, yeah, that, no, but I'm just trying to think five years ago, Chris Brown. A big tour he Fuck did. you back to sleep. He, he, he on the came full moon. here. He came here. No, no. Heartbreak on the full moon came out after that. But that's fuck you back to sleep. Fuck you back to sleep. Yeah. This no. is twenty. This is twenty seventeen. Okay. Twenty seventeen, be beginning of twenty eighteen, maybe. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, long story short, um, I just want to. I just want to. I, I, I personally, because everyone's putting Michael Jackson on this ridiculous pedestal because Ooh. of. Deservingly album, so. Album album sales, Deservingly right? Deservingly so. Which is crazy. But then you're at a different point in time, right? And that's all. That's there's all. There's not as many. There's not as much competition versus now. Gilbert Arenas, they were talking about uh, is Stephen Curry. Oh, we didn't even talk about. Did we talk, oh, we didn't talk about the finals. Oh, how I was right and y'all was wrong. I'm not done. Okay. We cool. gonna talk about the finals. Finish this right. before we. Gilbert Arenas um, 
They had a talk. They were talking about is Stephen Curry now in people's top ten. And then people say, yo, what is your top he 10? He fucking better be. Gilbert Arenas went ahead and was like, yo, anyone who's from 1985 and before, fuck them. That's it. He's saying, yo, they're not even in any kind of conversation. So he's like, right. wait, what about Oscar Robinson? Oscar, what about, first one pops um, up. What about um, Will? What about uh, Bill Russell? Mm-hmm. He's he breaking it down and saying, whatever you want to say. There are versions of those people here today who will kill those people, who are better versions at what they do. They took the torch and ran with it's, it. Which you're supposed to do. You're supposed to but do that. here's what people don't do. Same thing with the Michael, Jack, Michael Jordan LeBron conversation. People don't allow people to take the torch and surpass uh, or elevate or progress the, the game of whatever they're doing. So, for example, with the Chris Brown situation, in my personal opinion, Chris Brown's a way better dancer than Michael. Chris Brown has shown that he could do everything Michael could do dancing, and then some. Chris Brown is a way more versatile artist than Michael. Mike can't hit the nay nay, nigga. Mike He's ain't a way nay, more nay, versatile nay. artist than Michael when it comes to the variety, Mike. not only the variety of music, not only um, where he's willing to take his career. Like I can't see Mike on TikTok doing that I like. I can't see that. He ain't doing that. Chris Brown can. And we have to understand that Chris Brown's career took a big, big downturn because of the Rihanna situation that will never leave him. Will never leave him. Because she took the keys, just like the goddamn Kendrick song. All I'm trying to oh, say is... in the car. Yeah, and threw him. And no, she threw, threw She threw the keys. Imagine, mm-hmm. in the fucking Lambo. Fuck you, bitch. Ah. Oh! Oh! God, God damn it. Why y'all celebrate this? <laughs> no, because we finally got your dumb ass. Yeah, take not take the first time. Not take the first your time. shot. You know you want to. No, no, no. Of that shit. Oh, yeah. Why? No, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't, say, don't, cheating. don't give him a good time. No, 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 no. Brown. No, but but that's what he's been. That's that's been the penalty. No, it's not. That's he brings that. That's a, that's luxury. <laughs> I'm cheating. No, 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 no. Brown. Now nah, you mean shot of daily on? Uh, no. Not do that. It's thing by itself. Shot, Come here, Damisha. Here on the Willow Wednesday podcast, we do not support saying the B word. We respect all our wonderful queens, our yeah. black queens, um, and we do not believe in degrading you yeah. by calling you that word. Yeah, yeah, slap that. that is slap tough. We do not believe in calling you that word outside yeah. of the mm-hmm. bedroom. Now, in the bedroom, get. I want you to understand. Now, don't you, you ever in your life say that word again? Kind of dirty, nasty, freaky. Beautiful. Whatever he talking about, I don't subscribe to. What the fuck are you talking about right now? No, He's saying, saying basically if you're a white girl and you want to call me nigga in the room, it's all good. You feel me? No, I was saying. <laughs> you dig. <laughs> <laughs> you dig. You dig. No, I was saying that we do not support, we do not, we respect all of our black Ooh. queens. We do not support saying the B word outside of the bedroom. Itself. That nigga whole esophagus fucked yeah, up. But no, in the bedroom. Oh, it's, it's, it's a guns blazing. What? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't had someone stop me. Oh, use I haven't had someone stop me, like stop me from saying, like that's the oh, only you be, time you be I'm getting, say, you be getting wicked in there. Yeah, you be wilding yeah. for real. What you mean? Oh, I'm gonna be wilding. <laughs> you be yeah. wilding. You be wilding in the bedroom. I'm be honest, man. After doing this show, are you it, quiet? No, 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 no. Okay. It, it's just when it comes to the B word. We've been doing this so long. So you don't even say it. I literally feel weird when every time I say it. I, well, I, I, don't, I don't say the B word in the bedroom, but you do. I feel empowered. Okay. But, I'm saying, but we talking <laughs> damn near eight years of like trying not to I've say it. I've been going through something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, so, so here's the thing. Like, I feel like the bedroom is the one place where, like, this is, eh, let's have a conversation. Degrading. Is, it's uplifting. Is <laughs> is a kink for some women. So some don't women kink shame want me. to be <laughs> degraded. Talk to in a particular manner, which can be a turn on. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, so I'll point out an old Bernie Mac joke. It was on one of the first ones um, on Dev Jam. Old old nineties. Bernie. And he was like, um, he mm-hmm. said, "You could be fucking, and you could have one eye." He was like, if she get to fucking you. Yeah, he was, ooh, <laughs> shit. 
You one odd patch motherfucker. Yeah. And you like, oh shit. <laughs> like it's like you don't yeah, it, it, it it's a it's, it's like literally literally It's not disrespectful in the bedroom. In the bedroom, yeah. Of course of course everything has to be done with taste. Yeah. Feel me? It's not what you say, but how you say it. Um I mean, while yeah. moaning is pretty good taste. Yeah, you know good. while moaning, <laughs> while if if, if, yeah. if I feel like if you say something in the bedroom, but you're saying it in a like you are enjoying uh, the interaction, it's yeah, of course. You're adding to the energy, the 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 intoxicating. It's not what energy. you say is how you say it. Exactly, you're not being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. could be seen as the great. It's just like same thing, like slapping. You feel me? Okay. Some people you get worse. Want to I'm, be, I'm watching it progress. He like like choking. Okay, and I then don't say that. Yeah. like strangling, I, some <laughs> like when you go out of consciousness, like putting the pillow over her head. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you get to the shake, it, it's out of love. Like, <laughs> like that, that leg. Yeah. When she, <laughs> like when she played dead, but when she played dead, when she alive, she ain't playing. And so you have to drag the body <laughs> because Yo. you understand that Yo, I can love we, you. Can so. we get back to Michael while Jackson and Chris Brown? In. <laughs> Can we get back to Michael Jackson being less talented than Chris Brown? I'm sorry, that's funny. Because that right. matters. So the only the I, we 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 not first take, so I ain't got to prove the other point. I I agree. Where where does Michael win? Oh, th- thank you. Just let me let me just do that part because I fight for Michael all day. I'm I'm from the '80s. I love the '80s. Mm-hmm. I'm Michael all day. From the '60s. Um, he created what Chris Brown does. Okay. So. You have to give something to that. Nah, I've seen Chris do shit that Michael would never do. But that's what happens when I've created something for you. Yeah, but the but question I'm, is, I, who is more talented? But, but, that, but that's the part of what I'm saying. Who's is, more successful? Hold Donald up. Trump or his father? That's well, technically tough Donald Trump. I don't know. That's tough. He, he what's became success? the president of the United States of America. But is that successful? Who, I'm a who, billionaire? Uh, who made more money? You're the president. But Donald who, Trump who, is also a billionaire. Do you realize that Donald Trump... Didn't want to really be the president because he was already a billionaire. So like that ain't really the. So yeah, if his but, dad is a billionaire, no, he's but, like whatever, but, son. Was, was his okay, dad a billionaire? But, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back if, to Mike. Let's, let's, his, come on, no, come on, but come if on. his dad's a billionaire and so is he, that cancels each other out. I'm now the princi- president. But his daddy wasn't a billionaire. His dad was definitely. His dad, a billionaire. His dad was a billionaire. Yeah. Oh, damn, I was just trying to hope that he wasn't. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, a billion cross out a billion. <laughs> but I now play my president card, and you got nothing to fuck yeah, with that. But so I'm better than you. It doesn't matter, nigga. But, but, but let, 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 let's bring it back. Let's, Pops. Let's bring it back. Should have been a the president then, nigga. If you create something out of the blue, it does not exist, right? You create it. Someone takes what you create. What did Michael Jackson create? And they add on. I'm, I'm being honest right now. Got you. Michael Jackson created R&B music. The term R&B with his first album, whether people know this or not. His first album, Off the Wall, was the first album because there was there was pop music and there was, um, fuck, it was all of these terms. Blues. But there was no R and B music. His first album was the first R and B album, Off the Wall. I don't know if y'all know that. I did not know that. Yeah. So Off the Wall is historically the first R and B album. The first R and B okay. album, cool. right? So we have R and B now because Michael Jackson created it. Who gave it that title? White people. So white people just said, wow, this album is this so is good. A, this is rhythm and it's, blues. It's a, it's a standalone. Yeah, because they, well, back in the day, they called it Negro music. I mean, we had to move past Negro music at some point. I think. Like, we can't, it went to black music, then it went to soul music. You know what I'm saying? Then it was like R&B. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all racist. It's all racist based mm. if we just want to get into it. But whatever. Um, Michael Jackson also created the suit, the, the celebrity, Right? That clear port that Jay-Z talks about, the fact that Beyonce can't, the Justin Timberlake, everyone run. He created the celebrity. I can't go with that, bro. Chris Brown has an album called Celebrity. But, but there's, there's so many white artists who was here that were celebrities already. Like. But not black. So he didn't create it. He, no, for black people he did. No, he was the first one to do it. But he didn't and, create it. wait a minute, let, let's do it. Let's do it. And. No, uh, but you can't say and. and. You're wait. making false points. Me too. Keep going. I said Jackie Robinson. We're talking music, y'all. Well, did Jackie Robinson create baseball for black people? Or was he the first black person to do it? What's wrong with that? That's not a highlight? If you're the first black person to do something? But he didn't create it. But he didn't create it. Your wording is create. I'm saying he created the first R&B album. That's 
That's what he I said. He celebrity for black people. Oh, no, no. Michael Jackson completely created the... Oh, y'all really splitting hairs with me. Nigga, so, so okay, no, I got you. So the level of celebrity that Michael Jackson was, he was the only person to do that, and no one has surpassed that since. Black person or regular person? Who has surpassed what Michael Jackson I has done celebrity? Yeah, you sound uh, you sound like T.I. You started on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but who... Like I don't, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. Well, no, I, I, can, I can name a couple of people to be honest the with Beatles? you. The Beatles. I can say Beyonce. Beyonce has tapped into the level of celebrity that that Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson has created. Be, be, what, what, people what, what, are what passing is, out yeah, at like, her shows. Like, 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 is it? Is just people passing out? Could we could just say, okay, boom. Okay, wait, 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 no, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that because it's not that I'm trying to my, understand. No, like, no. How do we? How do we even gauge this? So is I, it? I, 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 I tell you how. Michael Jackson received an award. Um, he came up to the stage. He gave the lady a tap kiss on the cheek. Shorty behind him proceeded to almost pass out because she tap kissed Michael Jackson on the cheek. That level of celebrity is real. Like but, but that, that people that. hyperventilate and like lose their composure. But women do that now. No, 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 but no. But that no, didn't no. exist. No, no. You don't know no. the level. So women bro. don't do that now. Name name a celebrity for me, please. That like they're they're literally dropping dead, falling out. People were passing out at Michael Jackson concerts. And waking up in hospitals because they lost consciousness. You can't tell me that's happening now. Niggas see little baby, they're like, that's little baby. <laughs> they're not dying. Michael B. Jordan is the guy. Niggas is not passing the fuck out at the sight of Michael B. Jordan. They were dying at Michael Jackson shows. Okay. I'm, I'm just being honest about it. Like, it's a, no, no, they but were it's, like, <laughs> and, 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 and this is the time before. Medical condition. And this is the time before. And, Get and the ambulance and, in row five. They're and, dying and, out there. And I know, like, I do, I do understand that. It's one of them things where I was a kid in the 80s, but you, was, you, you wasn't, like, you, it's just, I, hate this, I hate that argument. It's, it's like, like, oh, it's you like, ain't I, see it. I didn't see him play. I didn't yeah, see him play, so I, I can't really. I fucking hate that argument, because that's the Wilt, like you said, the Wilt argument, the yeah, fucking yeah. I, I, Kareem I argument. Like, I, I can't yeah. argue with them I niggas. I didn't see him play, so I was like, ah, do I really know? So, again, yeah, so, so it's like, so to, so to argue about, it's like, but you really, so that's the part that's tough. It's like, because. The only closest comparison I can give you is when they compare. Uh, Kobe said it on um, what's the Michael Jordan shit? Uh, the Last Dance. Yeah. Kobe said it. Kobe literally, you know, he it was before he died. So uh, rest in peace, Kobe. God damn it. But Kobe was like, um, when everyone is always like, yo, you know, will I beat Michael in a one on one? You know, that's the thing. You Mike one on one. He was like, what y'all don't understand is Mike is everything that I've done. Like I could not do anything that I've done. Without Michael, and that's literally what Chris Brown said. He yeah. did, he did say, he said he it's not about that. talent. He is supposed to say that. He's supposed to say but, that. No, he's but supposed it, to say that. But he's not supposed to argue that point. The because same, the same way, if you went to if you went to Kobe's house when he was alive and was like, "Yo, Kobe, you better than Mike," I guarantee you, he'd say yes. But in front of the eyes of the media. No, that man is the reason why I dribbled the basketball. He's the reason why I did my turnaround move. He is everything to me. Yeah, I'm supposed to embody him. But the him. only thing, the, the, okay, all right. You so, gotta so pay homage because he did. You gotta pay homage. Let me, fuck, I ain't trying to make this a. But you I, can't. You I, can't I, tell I, me I, that. Chris I'm not Brown. trying to make this a. Chris, Chris Brown at I'm home not, right now, to, like I would I'm fuck Michael to, Jackson. I'm not, to, I'm not trying to take it. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying. Wait, no, no, okay. My God, I just want to add to the point I just said. He is better than the person he idolized. Just now in the finals, there was five people who their parents also played in the NBA. Mm -hmm. But all five, except for Gary Payton Jr., right? The second. The second. The second. Is uh, his older brother. Yeah. He has a junior already. <laughs> I didn't know that. He yeah. put me on. Yeah, it's true. There's so a Gary Payton Jr. and the Gary Payton. They was the born. The, they was born the same year because Gary Payton was yeah, out there. Yeah, when yeah, he was yeah. fucking. He's, he's, he's fucking. outside. He's outside. He's outside. He got a junior. So and that's the why it's the same second. Year. And his junior. Yeah, real yeah. shit, real shit, yeah, real shit. Yeah, yeah. He just put me on. Both the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nigga, George Foreman got sixteen Georges. Yeah, that's true. He names them. Yes, they're George one, George they're two, George, George one, two. George two, George keep three. Point, like, keep your point. Keep your point. Don't let us bad. throw you off. I'm losing it, but that, cool. So when George. Jr. Oh had a shit! Kid, come on, man. He's George, George, George. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, not George Jr. But um, when Gary, Gary Payton Jr. The has second. a kid, did yeah, he yeah. become the second? No. Unless it, the kid is named Gary You're Payton. Stupid, yo. Yeah, he's the junior second. Yo, what the he's fuck? Junior squared. <laughs> <laughs> he's junior squared. He just be like, yo, square. 
<laughs> Yo, square. <laughs> you thinking what? Yo, J two. <laughs> That's kind of dope. I fuck J2. with J two. I fuck with J two. Fuck around making JT. Mm. Uh, Not nah, too far. All right, cool. Um, so <laughs> let's see if he did. Let's see it go. Five. I, I dare you. Five players in the league. Oh, he kept his point. Go ahead. Five I'm players pro- that were in the finals. Yep. All right. Uh-huh. Except for Gary Payne. The second. Because <laughs> uh, we don't, I, I don't think he's going to be better than his father. But, you know, I, could, I don't know. No, nah, he ain't better than the glove. I, I mean, I don't think he's going to. Well, can't say that. We don't, know. Just we don't know yet. We, we don't know yet. We ain't think Seth was going to be He could jump Seth. out the gym, though. The first three, four years. Compared to his daddy, he can jump out the gym. years. We don't know. We don't yeah. know. But either way, uh, let's just say no <laughs> They call him the mitten. Right? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Not the mitten, though. Like, God damn, bro. Like, I'm so sorry. They call this nigga the mitten. <laughs> Niggas don't even wear mittens. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit, they could have said. They <laughs> said the mitten. <laughs> That's what they That's said. That's hilarious. Like, yo. Nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Latex glove. <laughs> the glove, the mitten. Like, ha, ha. Look. <laughs> so much more lame. The other four players are all better than their parents. Right? Yeah, they're Clay. All, they're all better than Clay. Clay, Steph. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's your boy? You, you were talking about him. Father? Is it Wiggins? Oh, Angel, Angel Wiggins pops. Yeah. Um, and, and, and there's another one. The Kami- I don't know. It was another You told me. It was another one. It was another Al Horford daddy. Al Horford. Al Horford Played in the NBA, yeah. Yep, right? yep, yep. They showed him. They All four of them are better than their, their parents. Yes. You feel mm-hmm. me? Took the torch and ran with it. But sure. They, they, but <laughs> technically, they not only showed, were the first thing that showed them basketball. To right. Them, we could say to them. They created basketball for them. Yeah. Right. They created them and they introduced basketball and to them. And they still better. They learned and then became better. Got right. into the same position, became better. Right. Chris Brown learned like almost every other rhythm and blues person. Right. And took it to another level. Every other yes. pop person, he took it to another level. And in my in my personal opinion, like I think that. Chris Brown's talent, if we put Chris Brown, same thing we could say if we put fucking LeBron, we put Chris Brown in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know. He might not even be accepted for real. <laughs> he would They might think he's an alien. Nah, he shoot, would he do what, niggas? I got to well, battle no, no, these no, niggas. No, 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 no. Don't get your errors fucked up. The 70s was pop locking. It was this shit and... You know what I mean? He would have cooked them. So he pop lock now. Um, but why? Quite well, huh? Why? Oh my God, bro! We but just, that's but that's what I'm trying to explain. Because it was invented. And so you be like, so why is Jay Z rapping? Because no, Biggie no, rap no, no, first. No, no. But 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 okay. So I do understand. Why Biggie rap? I do understand this. Because the niggas in the uh. I say I first. do understand. I do understand. If, if, if it's a parent and the person that introduces you to the game. What? Bro, we introduced you to podcasting. You might go on to become the greatest podcaster ever. I'm just saying in general, right? You but, had never, but, but right? But let me, but let me, but, but just let, talking, me, let me just point. Let, 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 let me go. Let me rock. Let me rock. You the one brought that up. But just because you inspired. Let me fi- but but let me finish. But let me finish. What you didn't see was Michael Jackson's influence. He pays homage to Michael Jackson's influence. But I didn't say that he didn't. What I said is you did not see Michael Jackson's. Influence on other oh, world, right? That's what I'm saying, and that's why, and that's I why it's Trump an argument. All com- it's not an argument. Wait, the reason, wait, because I, I was gonna go one more step. So I, cool. the, 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 I just want to go the, one. Yeah, yeah, the finish, reason finish, finish. why hold it's on, not Jason, an I argument, Jason, hold on. because we're talking about talent. Jason, hold <laughs> who on. is go. more talented? One you keep talking about this one ass little thing. One more. Can Michael Jackson sculpt? Can he paint? We don't know. Can he make clothing? And that's what I said. The caveat to me was social media wasn't right. We didn't see it. But the world didn't see that talent. So because of that, we can't give it to you. Right. So. Chris so, Brown's more talented. So it's the, a very simple sentence. So, so but the, the reason why that. It's argument, very simple. I'm not saying what, that he's the best it, dancer. It, it's one of them the arguments. Okay. I see now. I see he's now. more talented than this nigga. What happens is. My Swiss Army knife got more compartments than yours does. I think that there was more. There were more. I think that. No, you, you, no, you're, no, you're, no. You're, I just. No, no. Stop. I, I didn't fucking finish. My bad. Real quick. I just didn't finish. I didn't finish. And it ain't about finishing because cause fuck that point. Because it don't make. If we're going to keep it there, I don't have to talk music. What happens is that Michael Jackson was so 
so much of a, a, a pinnacle in music than when you say talent because his talents existed within that art. He acted, he did act, he acted, he sang, he danced. And at the time, it was the most and biggest and creative shit that had ever yeah, happened. Yeah. He wasn't just a nigga that introduced the motherfucker to dancing. That's not who Michael Jackson was. He didn't just introduce the world to dancing. Mm -hmm. He was a person who created dance. That's different. He didn't create dance. No, I, I not, get it. I get it. That's you what understand what I'm saying? I, I get it. I'm not you saying. You can't be that vague. That's no, like what, and Dom and you, right? no, yeah, but, no, you but I'm just giving it. You are so vague because dance is so big. You have to be so, you have to be specific with that. When you say dance, we're like, damn. Chris There's Brown, a point, dance. bro. Like, I, I need you to hear my point without taking my word out of context. Obviously, niggas was dancing before Michael Come Jackson. On, Eddie, Relax, bro. Come on, man. It's not that. But I'm saying he was, he added to the pantheon of dance is what I'm saying. Chris Brown ain't add to it. He just did what we do now. I disagree. Chris Brown has definitely added to I don't, the pantheon I don't of so. dance. I don't think Tripping. so. And 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 I you don't. You just think said so. the nigga. Oh, you, just, you just said he front flipped on beat. No, he's oh. more athletic. What? <laughs> it, Bro, you you want to know? You want to know how I, how I can go ahead and back but that point? Okay, I also right, 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 I just wanted to say this go part ahead, go ahead, go ahead. because the person who had it before Michael Jackson was James Brown. That's how life went. The greatest entertainer oh was James Brown. So you say James Brown better than Michael? Stay here. Michael expanded on question. what James Brown did and became the world's greatest. That's my question. Chris Brown expanded on what Michael did. Can you answer James, uh, Lamar's question, please? I, I am answering the question. No. Y'all not Is really it, listening. We, we wanna, we, no, no. Well, can, can you answer it more directly, please, just for the record? Okay. James Brown or, or Michael Jackson? As far as what? Like how you would say with Chris <laughs> Brown and... <laughs> And that's what we're trying to say. And that's my... Ah! But I also led this by saying, which y'all don't remember now, I said, if we're talking talent, I think Chris Brown is there too. But it's because we don't know, and that was what I was going to lead everything up to. We don't know if James Brown could paint or sculpt. We don't know if Michael Jackson could. We just don't fucking know. Well, we, so what well, happens well, is I, this I, because I, I, this I, becomes, I, I, wait, I will, this, no, we this. don't know. How many paintings have you seen of Bro, fucking? Chris Brown probably could do way more shit that we don't know about. So could Michael Jackson, bro, I'm but sorry, we don't I, I, know. I, I, no, no, we don't know. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. So then go off what you so do know. So go off what you do so know. So what we do know is dancing and singing. No, okay. and, and and painting. And, and then a nigga got another place? No. For, uh, for, uh, for Michael. Go off what you do know. You keep saying we don't know what Michael could do. We don't. So you're basically moving the goalposts all the way to Canada, my he nigga. He is. I'm not. Yes, you are. I say oh, wait, 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 Let's just be real rudimentary with this shit. If we have to quantify talents, how many talents does Michael Jackson have? That's an unfair argument. No, 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 no. Bro, we're going off of what we do know, right? No, 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 no. That's an unfair argument. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, I gotta stop you. It's an unfair argument. I gotta stop you, I gotta stop you, because... Y'all just had a whole exchange over what we do know, what we don't know. Cool. Yeah. We're going off of what we know. Can you quantify Michael Jackson's talents of what we know, please? Is one singing? Yes. Is one dancing? Of course. Is one songwriting? Yes. Is one acting? Yeah. What the fuck did he act in? Maybe in music videos. I'm, 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 this is a legit question. No, no, no. no, no. So we're at four. We're at four exceptional talents. So, right? Do, do we know Michael Jackson to play any sports? I'm just asking to ask. <laughs> do we know him to play any sports? No. But, uh, but we don't stupid. know. No, but once again. But that's we're, what I'm saying. Now we're but, getting no, into unfair no, territory. No, no, but once again, like I, like no, I but, said. But, okay. Wait, wait, sir, sir. I, I wasn't finished. I wasn't finished. I wasn't, I wasn't finished. I was not finished. Please, I was. But, sir, I was not finished. You can't. He, he, he's going to shut it down by saying it's unfair. It is. I would like to speak to that because I can stop that. It's not unfair because we're talking about what we know and what we don't know. It's not unfair. But it's the same. No, okay. What do we know? I have, but I have to take it out of this so that you understand my point. It's the same way when people argue. I hate someone who asks a question with a question. No, it's the same way when people argue young Beyonce and Aaliyah 
and when people argue Biggie and Jay-Z. You can't argue Biggie and Jay-Z because Biggie only had two albums. So to make it fair, you got to go Biggie. No, you. I can't argue Biggie and Jay-Z. So what you would have to do is go Biggie first this two. Is, this is why I hate when people introduce Biggie first two albums, this. Jay-Z first two albums. No. Because now we're on the same playing field. No, we can't. I can't do that. talk about your tenth album if I only made two, my it nigga. Matter. Chris Brown made 147 fucking albums. Bro, 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 He's bro. done mad shit. There's social media. This didn't nigga, exist. We nigga. can't count that. Listen, I want you to understand. If something. Michael Jackson existed today, we who knows what he would have painted so, or so, sculpted so, so, or what so the fuck? Me, what are we hold seeing? On, hold on, hold on. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of there was players, art when Michael Jackson players, was around. There are a lot of players who had way better rookie careers than Michael Jordan. There are a lot Damn of Damn everybody had a rookie. Oh, no, a nice rookie. I need you to... I need the you second and third year. Just listen I'm to listening you. to you. There are a lot of players who had way better rookie careers. Sure. Wherever their career ended, we're measuring their career. Tracy McGrady didn't have a long career. No. But in the span that he was in the game, he impacted the game just so much. That's where longevity becomes an asset. If you are able to do something for as long... For a long time, for example, Jay-Z is such an anomaly because Jay-Z is able to do what he's done for two, oh, for, in three different decades. So if someone's career gets cut short, the person with the longer career sustaining, that is a plus. It's a plus. I'm, but I'm, we I'm can't not dis- talk about what someone could have done. I'm not disagreeing with that. Because they could have been a bum at the same time. That's true. Because Pac could have fell the fuck off, Biggie could have fell the fuck off, so and then we never know. We, 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 All right, so fair enough. Know? I give you that one. But what happens is, you got forty years of Michael Jackson, but you're just born when you were born, so you don't know that. I want you back. The, the Jackson Five, my nigga. The Jackson Five was the hottest group for thirty. You got 30. forty years of Michael Jackson. Have you ever seen a painting? But what I'm saying is... Which leads to believe that he's never painted before, no? But that's unfair oh, because oh, I don't know. No. Let's go. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, research. And this, this, this is why... So, my nigga, if no, we but, find out but, that the nigga was a great painter, it's like all of a so sudden then, we're good so, now? So, yes, like, we'll add head. that to the list of talents if, that he had. We would but know. Because, because no, no one... True. We would... If he oh, painted some shit in 1970, nigga, how the fuck would we know that? We know damn near he's everything not, about Michael Jackson, bro. For, <laughs> but he, but here's we the know thing. damn near here's, everything here's, about the man. Chris the Brown ain't known for painting a sculpting either. Yes, he we, is. What? Social Yo. media is different. Yo. He's known for singing and fucking dancing, you guys. Are you serious? No, 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 no. He's known for all, right. all around art. Nigga. His fucking house that you see daily on his social media. He is, painted, is he painted everything that shit. in the crib. All the sculptures he's done. Yeah, so y'all don't know about what, um, what's Michael Jackson shit? The, the mansion with the, the animals and all that shit? We don't know what happened. purchased. We he don't, didn't handcraft. What is he, he didn't, God, we don't know is no, what I'm do. saying. Yo. No, but th- this you is, know this more is about why, one person than you know less so, about so, another. So, but, but here's, here's Bro, why I've it seen doesn't 45, make sense. I've documentaries on Michael Jackson. 45,000. What do you mean we <laughs> don't know? 45,000. No, no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> no, 45, Are you dead serious? Bro, I've, I've seen every lie. fucking... Oh, real quick. Real, no, no, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Because now I'm about to get my fucking bag. No, I'm about to get my fucking bag. Bro, I've seen more documentaries about Michael Jackson than I've seen on fucking 9-11. What are you saying? There's a documentary every fucking year on a new take on Michael Jackson. I've more some new footage that we've never seen. House, some some new shit. Bro, on we've tour. seen all Before. aspects. Neverland, that's what it's called, Neverland. We've okay. seen every aspect of Michael Jackson and what he shines at and what we've oh, always God. seen with all aspects was singing, dancing, uh, uh, maybe a uh, 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 concert direction. He was good with, with that type Seriously? of shit. But Michael Jackson has never, in the 45,000 documentaries I've seen, ever painted a picture. And what I'm trying to say is, if that's a talent that we're trying to quantify, that nigga don't have it. All I'm saying is, who has the most talents? It's very basic when you go to the basic meaning of the word. Because you're not asking who has the most talents. If this nigga has six talents and Chris Brown has seven talents, Chris Brown has more talents. You guys are not asking who has the most talent. You're asking the most talent that you've seen. Scene. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, let me wait, wait, hold on. Let me break it down. Let me break it that's down. That's what you. you're asking. I'm asking. I'm, I'm, and on. that's different hold because, on, hold because on, Dame. Dame. Michael Jackson is the king Dame. of you not seeing things. Let me let me well, ask. Hold on, hold on, on Jason. You hold on. Like he created let that. Let me ask concept. a question. Let me ask a question. Who has more talent for the game of basketball? 
Shaquille O'Neal or LeBron James? Uh, consistently LeBron. Okay. And because Young Shaq was a beast, bro. Okay. Young Shaq. We're not we're not talking about who's a beast. When I say talent, I'm talking about these are the attributes. Yeah, over time. So name all the things that Shaq could do. Whatever. What, fuck over all the over time. Just say the career boom. Whatever time period it was. Name all the things that Shaq that that we'll we'll all name them and then we'll name LeBron. Name all the things that Shaq could do. He's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna dunk on you. He's gonna post you up. You can't. You're not stronger than him, right? He's gonna get every single rebound around him. Okay. He is agile in the paint, right? He's fast for his size. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's gonna block every. He's gonna block almost everything that comes his way. Yeah. Are there any other talents that you could say that Shaq had? Rapper, actor. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. We're talking about in the game. Of, we're talking about in the game of basketball. In that game of basketball, is there you, any other talent? Do you think that Shaq changed the game of basketball? This nigga just you don't. So you just want to argue? No, it, because I you, asked you a specific question and you asked me back a different question. Can you answer my specific question so I can make my specific point, please? Because I would just me, say make your point because I don't understand. Please, just I make the point. Just answer make the, point. the question, and then you can understand. You're not supposed to understand it from off rip. Just follow me, bro. Can I say that I don't understand? Make your point? All right. I don't understand. Let me talk to you. It's okay. It's okay. You, you, you're doing this on purpose. I'm not. I'm really not. I just don't understand where we're going. I, I don't get the, the answer to the lead question. You, but it's fine. You said mm -hmm. what? <laughs> you don't want to be led. It's okay. Outside of those, any other talents in basketball do you think Shaq had? Um, he, he, could, he, could, he could handle the ball a little bit. He handle brought the ball up, all-star games, he a little in and out. He, he yeah, showed a little was, ball that, handling. That was one time, very hard. No, it, it's been a couple times. Okay, It's no been problem. a couple times. So He's not Allen Iverson. Is, cool. is that handle in general or is that just handle for a size? Handle for a size. Handle for a size. Yeah. So we're talking about handles. We're going to say handles. He don't have handles. Okay, no. cool. So that's not a talent. We're not going to put that in there. Now, LeBron. LeBron can handle the ball. LeBron is fast I would say no. I was going to say if, no, Are we dead serious? I would LeBron, say no. He, that nigga can't right? dribble. He's a terrible dribbler. Huh? Yo, when LeBron runs up, he's like, oh, he going to lose that. Like, every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Dan. <laughs> he be like, we be like, like <laughs> Pass the ball. I mean, he run up, bro. Like, I do. No, I'm with Dan on that one. He was very strong. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga dribble with, with his back straight. Nigga. <laughs> so, look. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he be like, ugh. Pass okay, Just pass okay, that, okay. bro. Scream. Now, now, if you say passing now, skill. Here, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. LeBron <laughs> yeah, is not man. getting turnovers like that. He can handle the ball. Regardless if you feel like he can. I'm talking about the risk of being turned over outside the three-point line. LeBron is very low. Either way, shooting, <laughs> running for his size. He can completely right? shoot better. Than passing the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's passing. I, Dunking A1. the ball. A1, of course. All right? Mm -hmm. Playing defense mm -hmm. on all five positions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Properly leading a team. Mm -hmm. Great bodily condition over his whole entire career. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. That's you got a talent that by itself. You, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Right? You we can consistently that, yeah. name, and I'm talking about only in basketball. We're not talking about acting. We're not talking about philanthropy. We're not talking about business, man. We're not talking about none of those. We can go. We're talking about only in basketball. So now when I'm talking about with Mike Jack. Michael J Michael Jack Michael who? Michael Jordan. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I said Mike Jack. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I was like, who? <laughs> nigga, I, I, I didn't know who it was. I was like, I know that nigga Mike Jack. Like I know that nigga Mike Jack. Talking about Michael Jackson and Chris Brown. Yeah. Strictly in the we can, I want to talk about even in the realm of music. I, you can't. I can't. I just can't allow it, bro. And that's what I'm trying to say. And and, 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 and now you're doing the old person thing but where I'm not, and now I can't I'm, converse as, with as I look at you because I'm not. you don't want as, to. As I look at you, it's not that. This is the you reason just, why that the whole social media world has been up in the uproar because yeah. now you see the divide in people. There's literally a group of people who's like blasphemy. I won't even entertain it. I'm, I can't, my brain you can't fathom that. You can't that. allow it. And then, you can't and, allow me to beat you and then, in, in this and, conversation. And then you're there's not, a group of not, people, and then there's a group not, of people that are like, me. no, but if you actually look at what we're presented with, we can surmise that one well, person does low more. Key, I was, I was listening to... Chris Brown I was, I, was, I, was, I was listening to the Joe Budden podcast, which is something I never do. 
um, ever. But I've been driving, so fuck it. I was well, like, shout let, to let them. me toss it in. Um, Ubers too. And they had to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's I was I was driving, doing my little thing or whatever. So um, they had the same argument. That's why I was like, I wanted to, I was going to present this too. Mm-hmm. Um, and Joe Budden, I just wanted to get, not confirm it with this thing, but he said, oh, we're talking about music. We we can't talk. But if you want to go list of talents, like what you're saying, he was like, but, but once again. So, I, what, the fuck? so what the fuck is the question? I Who you, is I, the most I want you guys, talented? Uh, so you already I want, I want y'all to I want y'all to do this. And, 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 and this is something that y'all, that y'all like to do. And, and I love it. Y'all, y'all like to not hear what I'm saying. I literally said when we started this conversation, I said, if we're talking about talent, 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 based on what we're seeing, I said, I think Chris Brown has that. But when it comes to music and dancing, and I've just been jousting with y'all. Well, you, you, I no, said that you've from been the jousting beginning. with yourself. You I asked the question. You remember, I posed this question. You remember that? You, you, you remember, right? About what we haven't seen. What, what would have happened? But, no, what I, but what I, no, he's arguing something that I never brought up. I got the topic list right here, What I, what sir. I hate is, this is one of the ones where I want y'all to go back and watch this. And watch what, what I, I say. Highlight? I want you to watch. It's the very, I, very bottom. I want you to watch what I say in the beginning. More I highlighted it because I knew we were going to get hit here. You want to know that's why? What the I know is. Dame. As long as I've known Dame, I've known Dame to be a Michael Jackson fanatic. So I knew for a fact this is going to be Dame's reaction. Oh, I knew Jackson. it. I, I typecasted this nigga. I knew it. Yeah, all day. All and day. I, I, I'm correct. All day. What happens is when a nigga's a fanatic of somebody, they can't think that somebody else is better than them ever. What I'm saying is I'm not saying who's the better singer, songwriter, dancer. But the, Who is the most or who's the more talented individual? All right. I don't have a problem. Who said surmise? I said surmise. I like that word. I don't have a problem surmising that a person is more talented than Michael Jackson. So then you have, you have yet to say it tonight. Let me finish. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just throwing but it out there. What makes me upset is that you weren't there to see the influence that's fucked up. So that beca- is fucked up. So because of that. That's fucked up. So because of that. But that's what the old niggas say about that's fucking Wilt. That's bro, some bullshit. Bro, that's wait, bullshit. You but you because you. Crazy? If and, I was and like, and it, side, if I was agreeing with you about how Michael Jackson oh, no, is so do- great. Hold on. If I was agreeing with you about how Michael Jackson is so great, I that still w- was not there to see the influence. But he, he would never bring that up. Well, you didn't bring that no, up. No, no, no. I would still be mad that you, you weren't there like to shit. see it because I wouldn't want you to just argue with me because. Yo, yeah, bro, this is a podcast. Bro, I love I, opinions. I'm not arguing with I you. Love, I love the you. fact that you feel the way that you feel. And you listen, feel listen, I love bro, it. Listen, that, bro, that's great content and great not, conversation, not, my nigga. I, like, it's amazing. I am not arguing. But it's crazy listen. to me that you didn't see what the fuck that that nigga was. So and what? that's the part for me. That's like, it's like, I'm my sorry nigga, for you. My nigga, it, that's how I feel. It's like, I'm it's, sorry for y'all. But, bro, cool, it's in the history books. We. But don't nobody read that. We just watch Instagram of Chris Brown. So history? So, so Chris Brown uh, dropping uh, an IG uh, tonight. Bullshit. Wait, 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 bro. What is history? That's bro, bro, bro. If you can just Chris Brown made a pizza. That's He's a great true. pizza maker. Bro, the fuck so, is we watching history so for? Like, it, what? Bro, I need you to... Let's bring it back to a level. Go ahead. I'm chilling. If you're going to sit there and argue... A, a, we're going to argue a point. And the only reason why you don't really respect my point. Respect? I'm gonna say, that's not respect, bro. I'm going to say respect. I'm, what, what I say respect? I, I don't disrespect your point, bro. I need you to let me finish. Go ahead, finish. go ahead. Not, not, dis- not <laughs> respect in a rude or degrading way, in a validating way, right? My, my point is not validated only because I wasn't there in your eyes, right? I wasn't right. there. Now, understand something. I have a nephew. My nephew's 23. Right, mm-hmm. my nephew is a super duper big Michael Jackson fan. He listens to music from that era of the seventies and eighties, mainly the yeah seventies and eighties, mainly the seventies, way more than he listens to anything of today. Mm-hmm. Right, and he would argue the, some of the points that you would argue because he believes that. Michael Jackson may be better than Chris Brown, right? But here's the thing. You would hit the same point of saying that he wasn't there. But you're not saying it, you're not only saying it as 
you feel sorry for me because I didn't get to experience it, you're also using my lack of experiencing it as a reason of saying that the, the points are not validated because I didn't get an opportunity to experience it. Yes, I agree with you 100%, and I'll tell you why. Why is because... Stand on that shit, man. I'm here with I'm, it. I, I respect <laughs> it. All day. Both of it. I'm, I haven't argued. I, I, I just said I agree. Yes. One, because you weren't there, and I'm sorry. I will always stand for that. Two, because you weren't there, you, when, when, when you don't experience something, you try to put it in a box that you understand, right? You say, Michael Jackson, then you say, well, Shaq, and there was Michael Jordan, there was Michael Jackson, period. All 80s. That's it. There was no LeBron, no Steph, no Chris, no... Bobby Brown, LL Cool J, fuck that. The rappers, LL Cool J has a lyric where he literally says, you like Michael Jackson or you like LL Cool J? We like LL Cool J. Niggas was like, we ain't fucking with that lyric, bro. That's Mike. That's what I'm saying. There is a level that's higher than what you think. But because niggas wasn't there, I get it. So it's just for me, because I was there, it's hard to like hear it like, well, I mean, you know, you got Kelly Rowland and then, you know, it's like, nigga, no. No, that's not what it was. And, and, and I get on, on my shit because my nigga changed the world for years. Like, years. Not two, not three, like 30. And, and I'm sorry that y'all niggas don't know. I wish it did. I wish that songs right now was still having lyrics and rap songs. Like, but, you know what I'm saying? But there was a time where songs were about things. And people did dope shit. And fucking Michael Jackson was the king of the shit for 30. 30 years. Yes. And I, I'm all, So the all, fact that we just to, minimize it all, to, oh, yeah, well, he could dance a little. No, nigga. Uh, no. 68, I, 78, un, 88, not, like, nigga, 30 un, understood. years. Understood. But if we're just listing the talents. But because Chris Brown could paint. No, I, I, what I'm saying is like, I, I get impact. Because impact, impact matters. Got you, Chris. Paint your ass in, off, bro. Impact matters. <laughs> Run the world for 40 years, cool. nigga. Impact does matter. I'm never gonna. Di- I'm, I'm yeah. not gonna disagree when it comes to impact. I never said who's the more impactful artist. I never Ew. said that. Like, I, I, I'm ve- but that's why we no, get. No, no, let, me, let me go. 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 I'm, no, I'm, I'm not disrespectful. I'm, I'm not. I no, never. I, I never said fuck Michael Jackson. I never disrespected the man. Right. Oh what I'm God. saying is, if we can quantify one's talent, and you can do that, there's a litmus test for talent. But that if somebody ain't based can on ju- Instagram post. No, I'm not talking about Instagram post. I'm talking about the eye test. I saw one artist. I saw one artist. I'm not talking about their impact and who they made. Chris Brown came out, I believe it was today or yesterday. He was like, yo, I will never touch Michael Jackson's impact. I am, I'm, the, I'm from the school of Michael Jackson. I get that. Cool. I'm not saying who has impacted yeah, the most cool. artists for the generations to come for life. And blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about talent. How many talents do you have? You can be the greatest dancer of all time. Guess what? That's one talent. Believe it or not, no matter how much you may disagree, you can be the greatest dancer that has ever touched God's green earth. Shit. Guess what, sir? That is one talent. Dancing. Dancing. Gotcha. My question remains, who has the most talents? If they're singing is one, I don't know. dancing is the other, cooking is one, swimming is one, Horseback riding is Never one who has the most talents, and I hate that, that I you hate, know. That and, you know. And, and, that you know. And, and, so yeah. So, like, so what if a person ever showed? So, what if so you meet you, a motherfucker so that's like no? No, but if you so meet then him, answer the question as you the know it, Dan. And we don't know, and that's, that's why no, it's unfair. No, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not unfair. It's not unfair because you, Dame, you say he ran the world for forty years, did, right? So if, it, what, once again, what I'm saying is, in forty years. In 40 years, is, is it not safe to say that if Michael Jackson was a world-renowned painter, we would have seen it? it is Very unfair. simple question. It is unfair, because everything now is social media. Michael Jackson could have debuted a painting in okay. 1972. Okay, so, but so, Dame, so, so it's Dame, not on IG, so, okay, so we so, don't know. So you know what I'm saying? So but if it was rebuttal, 1972, so like, oh my God, he paints too? Like, to rebuttal amazing. that statement, the reason why I say that this situation is different, Michael Jackson has had... No, just give me one second and then we'll let you go. I'm sorry. Michael Jackson has been in fucking the public eye and been on everyone's camera forever. 
There's 45 documentaries on this man. If he was a world-renowned painter, we would have seen this, what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm saying. But um, I will say this. I, I, knew this. I knew this was going to turn into an argument. That's why I kept it for last, to be honest. This nigga loved Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson is a dope artist. And you know, you know what it is? It's revisionist history. And as time goes on, we do seem to forget about the, the, the older artists or the, the, the forefathers, the, the Mount right. Rushmore type people. We right. do forget and we overlook their, their, their contribution. But when, when, I'm very literal when it comes to words. When we're talking about who is the more talented, I get it. I have two questions. Yeah. Who's better? I just want to know. Oh, fuck, when he comes back. Okay. Who's a better? Who's better? Who's a better artist? Who's more talented? Whatever. James Brown or Michael Jackson? Never answered that question. Skated over that, even though we wanted to play the whole this person uh, created something for the next person, mm -hmm. right? And also, if we're talking about um, people in the old school not being there, right? Okay, boom. Neither of us were there for. Um, nah, that's too wild. I was gonna, I was gonna bring it to like uh, slavery, and then the black. Oh no, push. no, 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 leave that oh, alone. No, no, no. When I say like, I was gonna compare Harriet Tubman and Martin Luther King. I was gonna, I was gonna take it somewhere like that. Harriet or Rosa? Facts. <laughs> we're Harriet not doing. We're not doing that. That's what no, B. No, no, no. B. Simone did that with one of our greats. We're not doing that with. No, we're not no, going to no, downplay no, no. one of our greats. We're bro. not downplaying either we're one. We're not doing. No, we are. Because if so you pick we, one over so the other, the question. are you downplaying Chris Brown? Are you downplaying Michael Jackson by saying Chris Brown's better? No, I didn't say Chris Brown was better. I never are you said downplaying that. Downplaying Michael Jackson because you because I think Michael Jackson is a better artist than Chris Brown, but Chris Brown's more talented than, than Michael Jackson. Who has a, who has a greater impact to the? Who's a better basketball player, Kevin Durant or or Steph Curry? Steph Curry. Steph Curry has impacted the game of basketball. Like no! You're doing what he you said. Who's, you just asked me who's a better impact. That's what you asked no, me. No, I said who's a better basketball player. Impact was a me what, next. What was the who was a better basketball player? Stephen Curry or Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant. Okay. Cool. Who has impacted the game of basketball? Steph Curry by far. Cool. Every little nigga on a basketball court right. want to shoot from okay. 50. Now. And then I could bring it to, so we could bring it, the same thing, we could bring it to that. Who has more talent or who's the better or whatever? Uh, My opinion is Chris Brown, who has impacted the world Michael more. Jackson, by far. Michael Jackson, yeah. right? His impact is, under, we, we're not, we're not hey, speaking on question, impact. last question, last question, last question. Who's better, James Brown or Michael Jackson? I'm just the wrong person. I just got to bow out. You can't answer the question? Look, he said he bowed out. <coughs> I can't bow if out? If he can't. Because I'm, I'm, I'm biased. What's the bias? Answer the question. Nigga, sometimes you can't. If hold you on, ask me a hard on. question, I'm, I can't you answer it You're arguing about my favorite people. So answer the question. I disagree with that, Lamar. I'm sorry. I disagree with that. All right, well, hold on. I disagree. Okay. All right, all right. Bro, he bro, answered whatever. the question. He said he can't. I, this one I can't. That's, that's like asking me Michael Jordan or Allen Iverson. I fucking can't do it. I'm sorry. AI is that nigga for me, but Michael Jordan is that nigga for me. So you, so you can't you, pigeonhole that nigga. You can't strong arm him into an answer. Wait, Don't do that. That's bullshit. Wait, wait. So That's we, bullshit. So you can't sit down and say which one's better than which. He just said he can't. He's biased. He so, just said so, it. So I'm you biased. don't know if Michael Jordan is better than Allen Iverson. I, I, to me, I can't. I'm sorry. You're asking me who's better for me. I can't. AI is the reason why I dribble the basketball today. So, okay. But Michael Jordan also runs basketball. So you can know I can't answer that question. No. All right. Okay. So here, here's from me. That one I right? can't fight. That's here's, what I'm saying. Like, here's from me. Here's so from you me. you talking I about the nigga like... who created hip hop. <laughs> and the nigga who created. Yeah, James Brown created hip hop. I, I, I'm not confused. But it's like, no, no, but it's like. We can't answer questions. Or Michael Jackson, because the greatest some, singer Sometimes ever. you so, get. A, so, sometimes so, it's a stalemate and you yeah, can't answer the question. I can't. That's why the word stalemate is a, is a word. No. Nah. Every, every, uh, Bro, you do know that everything can't be answered sometimes. You know that, right? I feel like I feel like things can be quantified. Not everything. Not everything. And we talking about now we're, now we're talking emotional. And, I was about exactly. to say emotional, and we're talking about music that's subjective. Yeah, right. It, it's how you right feel here, about it. It's I, not. I, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, if we're talking emotional, right? I don't personally believe that 
everything is loved on the exact same playing field. Like, I could say I love my brother and my sister. But there's, there's someone who I am more drawn to than the other. Okay. But let, 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 let's speak in, I don't think let, that, let's speak, where, let's speak in I your even, terms. Even with kids. Let's speak in your adults, terms. I think. I'm going to yeah. use two categories. Pussy or success and money? Loved Which, on a level. Mm-hmm. Right? And I, that's what I want to change it a little bit. What's loved more? Pussy. Then success and money. I'm not arguing. It's just an answer. You're not wrong. I don't see those things as a, because I feel like if you get this, it'll be, you know, it, you know. So, so it's it's a little different. I'm trying to think of something. So no, no, no. You, everything is quantifiable. So, so here's what you? I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Th- what, maybe what, that was a bad if, point. Do you get my re- point? The I reason why no, no, no. I, get it. I was so just the trying reason to, why that one's a bad point. Okay. People go after that one. Because that one comes with it. But people go after th- that one, money and success. Okay, maybe bad example. To get that. I got you. I got you. So you I'm, just, I'm, I'm just trying to think of an example. You get whatever, whatever example But certain you things want are just think, unquantifiable. It is quantifiable. I, 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 I disagree. I, and maybe, I wholeheartedly and maybe, disagree. You know, can someone, ma- give me something that's, that, that you I just did. Like, what, uh, Michael Jordan? Michael yeah, I, 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 I have two kids. What are you saying? I can't quantify which one I love so, more. No, no, hold on. That sounds hold on. nuts to me, so bro. I just said, I just Ooh, said, that's a good nuts. one. Actually, actually Do you love your son or your daughter hold more? On, on. <laughs> that's crazy, right? That's hold crazy, on, hold bro. On, hold what on, about that, on. though? If you have two kids? I actually, ju- I actually said that. The only okay. thing I said that yeah. is where it's, it's, it's not the same as where you have kids. And then I said until okay. they're adults. And I disagree with that statement. You said until they're adults? Until they're adults, right? You love, disagree. you love, you love. But then again, you know, people could be like, Lamar, you don't have kids. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, from what I've no, I, seen, okay. what I've seen, you love everything. You will do everything for everything. But you're yeah. drawn closer. You have a better relationship. You, you're closer with a particular. Yeah, but that love don't go away. No, even no as they, even the love as, goes no, no, away. No, no, but, but I'm just saying, even as they age, because we hear, we hear, we see people get mad old, right? Like, motherfuckers be 50, and their mom is 70. And she like, that's still my baby. Like, I don't give a damn. We never said the love goes away, no, bro. No, no, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. So, so, so imagine when you're bro. 60, 70, 80, and your kids are 30, 40, whatever, right? You, you still ain't going to pick. It's like, I still love both, even though no. they're adults. Listen, 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 I love this 35-year-old right, nigga the right, same way so, I loved him so, when he was six. So, that's all I'm saying. Here's an example, right? Yeah. My mom loves all of us, all of us, mm-hmm. all four of us. She loves us. She is more drawn and has a deeper psychological connection with my oldest brother. Like, hands he's, he's our first? He's her first. Okay. He's I her first, that. right? She has a deeper, psycho- a deeper level of, just, of raw connection with that guy. That doesn't mean she loves me any less. Oh no, she hates you. No, I'm joking. I'm just, I'm just joking. Just <laughs> laugh, bro. Come on, just joking. God, she's like this nigga. I'm over here. <laughs> what I said earlier, she don't like hugging me. And this nigga. <laughs> she's like, yo, you be hugging him all the time. Like she hugging him right now. You see my, you see my brother. Amar, come here. You see me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, bro. That's funny. So I, you be sitting there mad that I want to hug. Yeah, I've also heard funny. parents say yeah. that they have favorites. I think when kids are very little, very small, it's hard to choose your favorite. Well, I, but I, I okay. think when your kids are adults, you know which one you like better. Well, I don't, I don't have children, but I, I think I can speak to that. I think as we age, yeah, you know, as they develop their own personality, you can decide your son could grow up and be a fucking dickhead, bro. You, you still not, love him, but you be like, yo, this little nigga get on my him. nerves, nigga. He's like, an asshole. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and we, you and your you and your daughter, twins. Could be. Twins. Do you understand? I know you don't know yet, but that is true. Do you understand? Bro, you got friends that are assholes. No, I, I, I get. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not. The concept. Yeah, I'm not the, retarded. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> one, bad word. Sorry. Oh, can't shit. Use that, I can't use that word. Sorry. I hope. Shit. Can we bleep that out? I don't know. <laughs> bleep what out? Too late. What what'd you want to bleep out? You want me to say it again? No. Oh. <laughs> this is the friend that you don't want. <laughs> trying to set me up. See, see, see. What did in you this, say? In this moment, he has a favorite. <laughs> <laughs>
So, listen. so, let me ask you a question. For you, your mother, right? Yeah. Your yeah, mother funny. three kids. Yes. Okay. Is your mother close, sir, with any one of y'all more Him, than by far. I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. <laughs> I disagree with, <laughs> that. Fucking I disagree with you that. You disagree? Hey, bro, right. from what who, I've seen. Who you think? Who you I think? Disagree. Who you think? I, but your sister or your brother? I'm just and, curious. And <laughs> who she like more? The reason why I'm not going to answer that question or I can't answer that question is... We can't. Call your sister right now. She up. I'm definitely... If she, 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 is up. she is up. She is up. She is in some <laughs> foreign <laughs> land where it's 6 o'clock. Fact. PM. She's up. But no, I, like I said, I, I, I can't subscribe to that mm-hmm. because the, the way I've seen my mom move, she's been pretty impartial with everybody. Uh, like, she, she's been the same with everybody. Sure, yeah. the youngest may get Less talking to because she's tired now. Yeah. Because but that's just normal. The youngest don't get beat like yeah, the they first don't. Kid. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, I pretty. got my ass whooped. My little sister, she not going to. I got because beat more than all the kids, and I'm the youngest. Well, well, you, you, they actually look down at you. Because you so like, fucking beatable. That's act- why you just, <laughs> beatable. <laughs> <laughs> beatable <laughs> you, I just have a tendency to abuse you, Lamar. What the I'm fuck? sorry. I'm sorry. Like, it's like ah, oh, it's like an itch I can't stretch. Ha! Yeah, like, what the fuck you talking about? My only my brothers have literally told me like. I was on Twitter never earlier. get licked like you, brother. Yo, I was on yeah. Twitter earlier, and a nigga comment was like, yo, your face is so punchable. Punchable? Like, just Fuck, punchable. you beat me. Yo, you beat me to that joke. Like that was a joke shit. I was going to make. Your oh face my God. is just mad God punchable, bro. Uh, like, you, yeah, you I just too. saw it on the movie. He was like, but your face is so we punchable. Yo, we got one more thing. Can we get the fuck up out of here, please? Jesus you got Christ. one more? One more. Or you want to be done with no, it? No, let's do it. No, no, no. I just want to give... I just want to give... NBA Finals? NBA Finals, and then I got Drake. That's all I had. Oh, NBA Finals, oh, I was right. Y'all was wrong. What did we say? You said, what, 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 what did we say? Is it on you said, It is. You we, said we Boston said was going to win. You said Boston was going to win. Didn't even watch we said it here. Episode. I did. I told y'all to watch it. You didn't watch it. Yo, he's a, <laughs> yo <laughs> this nigga be guessing like a motherfucker and be hoping that you got it. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it. I watched it today. The whole thing? Yeah, nigga, the fuck I don't believe it. Because when you lie, nah, your voice gets high. He texted in the group chat. He nigga, did. I, my voice always gets high, yeah, nigga. It do, it do. Yeah, it do. He, he got a crackling ass voice. Purpose. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a talent. Uh, I didn't it's show talent. you his, right? Lying correctly. <laughs> <laughs> What's you talking about? Nah, but I did, in conclusion to this pod, right. I told y'all niggas what was going to happen, and it happened. Okay. I think Jason Tatum Num- is young. Yes. Number one, we all knew the Warriors were going to win. No, we didn't. No, you didn't. Wait, whoa, wait, wait. No, no, no. We watched the game together, sir. All I said was, I wanted Warriors. I said Warriors in seven. That's it. Okay, no, you did say that. I said that. You I'm said, like, oh, said, I'm like, the Celtics seven. gonna lose. Yeah. But I wanted them to just at least fight. And I yeah. told you, I just wanted to see who could slay the beast, right? We know that the, the Warriors know what they're doing. Yeah. And I'm big on the underdogs. I love it. I knew they was gonna win. Like I, the whole time. I really, really, really. You really thought they was gonna beat them, though, bro? <laughs> 51, 51 win season, 53 win season, right? Celtics, okay. Golden State. Basically even tail. Even, yeah. Someone goes up 2-1. Hope looks clear. It did. It did. I ain't going to front. At 2-1? I was like, are we going to get this seven-game series? Because I know they're going to win in the end. But bro, I was, yeah, yeah. At 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. <laughs> We're going off of cause all you could do is go off of the past. So at, at two one, yeah. Excuse me. I know I look and I know like yo. We know the kind of games Stephen Curry has to produce, yeah. but we've also seen, we've also seen them check, check. fumble the bag. Not in the final series. Nah, they don't, they don't, you don't know who. The oh, not the, in the final series. LeBron. It was LeBron, but, but they didn't fumble that bag. You said Remember, fumble. everybody was hurt. Remember no, to, that shit? To fumble a bag is that you was up clearly and you did some bullshit and you fumbled. Miami fumbled. fumbled. They didn't fumble the yeah. bag. They just got beat by a better team. You can yeah. say that. They wasn't fumbling against these Boston Celtics, bro. They they they, they, they young. Jason Tatum is going to be a problem. Oh Jalen Brown God. is going to be a problem. Marcus what? Smart is already a problem. It's going to get worse. When they get it together for real? Like, when, when that the nucleus get crazy, years. they babies, they 23, 24, imagine. The next J- 10 years. But they had no. Jalen Brown already got the kill instinct. They, but they had no just, leadership. Yeah. Jalen Brown has a kill they instinct. They turning the ball over all Tatum stupid. has the most potential. Yeah. 
I feel bad for Jason Tatum. His mentor is Kobe. His mentor got cut down way too early. This nigga has not had a mentor since. Imagine him if Kobe and, was coaching him, and, him through this, this shit right now. Him and Kyrie were pretty close. I don't but know Kyrie, how like. Kyrie, Kyrie different. Kyrie definitely got he killed. He a different dude, yeah. He Kyrie got killed. To be, no, to, to be can honest. We about, can we talk about, um. Can we talk about this off air, bro? Oh, no? Okay. Let's talk about this Let's talk about this as we, as we wrap Let's up. Let's rap. What was uh, it? I like was, talking was to you. One more you done? Oh. The last one was Drake. Drake's album. Amazing. Amazing. What, what, what album is better than that one that he's done? Oh, oh, that but that's a different album? question. What? Nothing was the same. Yeah, <laughs> nothing was the same as like his greatest album. album. Like, this is greatest. <laughs> Still to this day. No, but this album that just passed, honestly, never mind. Shit is fucking phenomenal to me. I hate the fact that in hip-hop, we can't grow. Nobody can't do nothing outside of killing somebody, robbing somebody, shooting somebody. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that, that's None literally what's Drake's, going on. Drake's album that we do love, for example, Take Care, my personal Once favorite. again, you overlooked my statement. If you listen to understand instead of listen to the rebuttal, you'll hear my statement. But you're using points that we never use for Drake. My statement wasn't towards Drake. It was towards the hip-hop listener. I said, in hip-hop, <laughs> we never allow an artist to grow. Right? It, exactly. In hip hop, once again, the hip hop listener does not allow anyone to grow. If it's not about killing somebody, shooting somebody, robbing the bank, strippers, twerking, um, Let's go. getting money. Um, you feel me? If it's not about being a city girl, up, up 10, uh, city boys, up 1,000, if it's not done that shit, we, are, we automatically shun it. What Drake did in hip hop, because hip hop is becoming more of an inclusive art and it's becoming, it's already the biggest genre Otherwise, in the world. It's, the, it's pop. Yes, it is pop, right? So because of that, it's cultural bro, pop. When when rock was running the world, rock turned into heavy metal. It turned into punk, death punk. It, there's so many r r fucking variations that spawned yeah. from rock music, yeah, rock, and we allowed it, and, and everyone let it happen. But death in hip hop metal, now, it went to death metal, it went into mad shit. Rock. It was emo punk. It was fucking. Yeah. The hacky sack niggas in your school. That yeah, was, it was mad so shit weird. that it turned into, and we allowed the it to happen. Niggas. But in hip hop, it's no, only no, goth, one dimensional. Goth, the goth niggas. Oh my god. And that's that's what I'm trying to say. I'm speaking to the hip hop fan. We don't. We're not inclusive. The yeah. average the the average hip hop listener is not inclusive when it comes to their music. They want to hear what they want to hear. Bang bang, shoot 'em up, or strippers twerking, or I'm getting money. The top three singles, right? Not in, you know, I mean, so that, now that here, like every single here Drake comes with a dance record. It's literally house music mixed with a little uh, uh, Jersey Club, Baltimore Club. There's a whole bunch of all these shits. These sounds is different to the the regular listener. That should take. And the hip hop community shuns it because it's not the typical hip hop. But I say for shit to grow, we need to push the envelope. And this is what that was to me. I love it. You know what I think? I think that we need to, as you just said, so we could do two things. As you say, you could stretch his hip hop or we could look at it for what it is. When Lil Wayne made a rock album. That one was awesome, by the way. We didn't get mad at him for making a rock album. Very true. When Snoop Dogg made a reggae album, yes. Some and a gospel album, by the way. Niggas got some, mad at that one. Some Jamaicans looked at him a little bit. Niggas got sideways. mad. <laughs> but we didn't, Snoop we didn't look at it like this is a horrible album because it was actually decent. But Jamaicans are always mad, so I don't know. So it's a little I mean, facts. I mean, <laughs> Y'all mad at everything. You see it as like, yo, yo stick to the way I did, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> we, when, um... When 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 Kanye made a gospel album and won Gospel Artist of the Year, yo. we didn't and see it. We didn't see it okay. as that one. I can't. I we didn't can't. see it right. as. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't feel no type of way. I think the the confusion here is that people are not understanding what this album is, and the genre that this album is under is dance. Yes. This is not. A hip hop album. It's not a hip hop album. He also so, never said it was gonna so be. So again, <laughs> huh? He also was. He never said it was gonna be. No, I. He just dropped the album. He dropped an album. I agree, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking to Drake, misstep. I'm talking to people's understanding. Yeah. So people feel like up. yes, Drake. So the difference between Drake and all those other artists 
all those other artists verbally said what their album is and what it is and what it's going to be. So uh, something about when you expectation, if I, if you built a particular expectation, it, you, you've now uh, curated, you know, yeah, my expectation. Like I already know what's about to happen. You feel yeah. me? But because Drake doesn't do that, he definitely, he doesn't, that's it. That's all he does. They ain't no roll out, no drops. nothing. Yeah. And I'm coming out with a new album. It's going to be about this. going to have these people. No, no, no. It's just, uh. Drops. All right. Because of that, um, people are comparing what they expected Drake to make, right, to what actually came out. But if we could I, I honestly be like, boom, this is a dance album with one hip-hop-related track. At On the, the end, very, last very song. End. At the very, very end. It was crazy because I really liked that song. I really right. liked yeah, it. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, my God, this very, is a great song. Very hard. Shout out to 21, right? I fuck with that song. If yeah. we go ahead and be like, miss. yo, listen. That's the single, low yo, key. He's like, on everything. He don't miss. He don't I miss. I saw him the other day, by the he way. He don't miss. Um, if we go ahead and just say, yo, boom, this is a dance album. This is not a hip-hop album. Drake stepped out of his regular realm, like how many artists do, mm-hmm. and did something different. And... And in the realm of dance, yeah, you are heavy headed. No, in the realm, I'm sorry, I just don't like the juice. In the realm of dance, in the keep, realm keep, of keep dance music, that might be a really good album mm-hmm. or a really bad album, but it needs okay. to be compared to dance music. I just, I just want to give my take since we've given our takes on it. Um, I don't have a problem with Drake stepping out of the box. I don't have a problem with the fact that you know that he wants to do that. I just have a problem with execution. The rollout? Nope. The actual the music. songs. Drake can't fucking sing. I'm tired of Drake singing. Who can sing now? He basically? can't sing. Who's and singing? it bothers the absolute I can sing. Huh? So because I can sing, it absolutely bothers me because... It's not good execution of the songs. And what I don't like is that he has the privilege to make subpar singing songs on house music. House but, he, but, but, uh, the, but don't get... Matter of fact, go to, you're, you're right. I'm let sorry. Me, I waited. You're right. I'm sorry. This is just my take. Mm-hmm. I listened through the full album today. I just I went to work, listened to it. I came home, listened to it. I, I, I took a shit. I was listening to it. And I was just like, yo, I, I don't like any of these songs. And that's what was bothering me. It, it wasn't bothering me because he did it. Mm. It was bothering me that I wasn't like, yes, Drake, yes. This, do, you, ooh, do you like that this, type of music? I'm from Chicago, bro. House music comes from Chicago, House my music nigga. comes from Chicago. Bro, why are you just going to say yes? <laughs> he, had to, he had to flex on you real quick. Like, why are you just going to say yes? Because he's from Chicago, nigga. Like, why do you have to say that? Like, 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 like. like. Because he's like, from Chicago, nigga. Why you have to say that so nigga. aggressively? I'm from Chicago, nigga. <laughs> Are you going to say? Nigga, that, that's like... But that's, that's like somebody saying, you like Jay-Z? What the first thing you're going to say? Nigga, I'm from Brooklyn, nigga. Fuck you talk about? Say, yeah, that's where I grew up on. No, nah, that's what... Nah, <laughs> nigga. Nah, nigga. Let some <laughs> shit... Let, no, 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 no. Let's say a better one. Bro, let some shit be Jamaican. You be like... What, ask me. There's a lot of Jamaican artists I do no, no, not but, like. No, no, but what I'm saying is, when somebody like, yeah, you saying that because you... At, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm that, from Chicago. What, that, House music comes from yeah. Chicago. Um, yeah, I like that better. I don't like Drake's album. And, and just to give you a, I know you heard the Beyonce song. Absolutely. Which is also a house song. Yes. Be I like hit, them both. Be this whole album. No. No? No. Whoa. Whoa. No. You no. are part of the Beehive. <laughs> On this one, yeah. No, but but I, I'm a part of the Beehive. I'm a Beyonce <laughs> fanatic. No, no, nah, he's way more Beyonce what? than me. Y'all say my girl, nigga. What? All right, real quick, real quick. But 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 that's my problem. My problem is that I just honestly don't like the songs. Like, um, what's the joint? You need to get yourself together. Get yourself. Together. I like that more mm-hmm. than like all the songs. Like mm-hmm. like all the songs that he's done this on already. I like those better. I just don't like these ver. Like, I, Seriously, I just was like, especially the first one, where you keep repeating the same shit. What the fuck is the, 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 the track one? Uh, 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 what the so, fuck so, does he but, say? So Man, thing, he said the same thing. He said the same for, thing. For 30 minutes. So Nigga, for 30. And I was so, like, nah, fuck this. Fuck you, Drake. You're wrong. You, you, <laughs> like, you don't like the album because 
you they're, are critiquing it. They're bad a, songs okay, to me. Again, Except the last one. That last one is you fine. Don't, you don't like the album because you're critiquing it as a dance album. Right? You're critiquing it as a dance, like, as a... No, it's not really dance, bro. I'm just saying, I get the beat. It's like, I right, mute Drake. Give me the beats. Fire. Yeah, but <laughs> Everything he's doing on it, I'm like, eh. He's, he's a part of it, though. So I'm, I'm, eh. what I'm saying is... I don't what like I'm his saying, lyrics. I don't like what the songs are about. Okay, I don't, yeah, all right. That's so what I'm, I'm saying okay, is I'm, you you don't like it. Be, reason why people don't like it is because they expected a hip-hop album. So Yeah, but I'm over that. That part, I, I, I agree with you. All right, and, and yeah, that's yeah. why I'm saying that. I like, expect a hip-hop album, you're too. You're over it. Yeah. But that's the, 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 the way that you're analyzing it is not the way that the masses are analyzing no, it. No, no, no. Niggas want to... So, so the way that you're, you're saying... These are the reasons why I didn't like this. Yeah. People are not saying that. People are saying, I probably don't like dance anyway. And I, pro- I probably don't like dance music anyway. And I wasn't expecting that from Drake. So I really don't like that shit. Yeah. But so you- it's a bad album based off what my expectation was and what I'm used to. I get that part. You yeah, yeah, but basically I, you know. Syn- synonymous with each other. So that's yeah. why people don't like it. You feel me? So yours is yours is specific. Uh, yeah, mine's specific because because I'm an artist, bro. You an artist? You, when you gonna make your album so you could be an artist so you can understand this? We need to facts. I need to make an My album. I need to be an artist. Yeah, oh, 100%. Facts. You gotta understand how this works so then you can I, have these real takes, bro. I used to rap, bro. I, I'm, I'm gonna send you some house beats. <laughs> I, used to, I used to rap and sing. Then you need to get yourself together. Oh, nigga, what? How many get times you heard me together. with crazy bars out here? Ooch. Random. Ooch. Oh no! I mean, I've heard you take at least four of my bars and put it in your music. Oh, oh wow! You go- Name them. Whoa, whoa, Go. Jay! So he ghostwriting for He's you? Ghostwriter. You ghostwriter for Jay Willis? My nigga, you never gave me no type of credit, bro. <laughs> my bad. You're right. You gotta sue me. <laughs> Out here looking like fucking take, take Picky from Friday. Take nigga, me to cook. Me <laughs> take me. They to never gave me no type of fucking respect, <laughs> nigga. Why yeah. you never <laughs> respected me? You're right. My uh, bad. You know what? Yo, we're out of here. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> How yo, about this? Yo, get your publishing, fam. Get your publishing together. <laughs> get yourself together. <laughs> get yourself together. Yo, if, you like, if, you like, if you like the Drake shit, drop it in the comments. If you don't like the Drake shit, drop it in the comments. If you like the transgender women not being able to perform in, in Olympics, in, in World Ooh. Olympics swimming, drop, drop it. it in the comments. What else you if, got? If, 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 if you think Chris Brown is better than Michael Jackson, drop, drop it in, in the, the comments. comments. If up? you think Michael Jackson is better than Chris Brown, drop, drop it, it in the, the comments. comments. If, if you think women don't like men, Drop, drop it in the, the comments. comments. If you don't think that Father's Day is worth a damn, drop, drop it, it in, in the, the comments. comments. God damn if it. you did something for your daddy, drop, drop it, it in the comments. comments. Motherfucker, we about it. you want to send us some nudes, drop, drop it, it in, in his comments. Because <laughs> you're going to get caught up. Nah, attack him specifically. <laughs> tag him specifically. Yo, we out of here. <laughs> Gang <laughs> shit. Grrr, bow. <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Will of Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.